Okay. Oh man, I love, I love, I love audio. Going live, going live, going live. Yeah. Three, two, one. Go. Okay. Okay. So I guess on starting screen for now. Now. Ah, it's starting screen. It's uh, yeah. Yeah. So. Sean is nervous. It's alright. Oh man. So it's alright, Sean. This is gonna be this is gonna be regular. So yeah, you're gonna get used to it. I'm even excited to set up the next the next podcast that we're gonna do. <laughs> Just think of it like an interview, Sean. Yeah, you have your oh, inter- interview super... questions there also. You don't have to worry. What is your you bucket shot, night. man? <laughs> I still don't know. <laughs> I was thinking about that the past few nights already. I even bought uh, because of this. I bought a tripod. A, you know the table. Tripod. Damn, man. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to do this often cuz uh yeah you... <laughs> All right. I'm using, a, I'm using a Dodge DIY kit for my phone. I think Carl's ready. Are you ready, Carl? Okay, so in 3 <laughs> This was an interview. Silence before the storm. Boo! Hey everyone, how's it going? <laughs> hey Carl, looking good, man. Looking Hi, good. Carl, Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, so so looking good, good, man. Good. Oh, Sean, good. nice haircut. Yeah. Yeah, man. yeah, you look you look different <laughs> from <laughs> us. <laughs> I, look, I look sharp. <laughs> you look sharp. <laughs> so very sharp. Yeah. Okay, guys, what's up? What? Ooh. All How right. are you guys going lockdown? Uh, we're locked up. Yeah. I shouldn't be saying this, but I'm going out of the house sometimes. So, yeah, I shouldn't be saying this online, but yeah, I've, I've been out. <laughs> <laughs> to the shops, to the shops. Just want to make to that clear. Yeah. yeah, of course. And for your one hour daily exercise that you can do. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's only one hour? I, I thought. <laughs> I'm just messing around. No, guys, don't don't arrest me or something, please. <laughs> no one's gonna get arrested. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's been tough in Melbourne. Right. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just give him Carlo's. We'll just give him Carlo's address. Oh yeah, and uh, we're gonna call ourselves Carlo also. <laughs> Hello, yeah. Carlo. Hello, Carlo. We're all Carlos here. <laughs> and Carlo one, Carlo two. All right. Okay. So, so what's up this afternoon, guys? We'll. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I can see the out uh, the sunny outside here, and uh, I think it's a good day. I reckon we had a bit of. Uh, hold on, I got a phone call. Quick, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Keep on. Yeah, you need um, to D and D. Hello. Yeah, you can yeah. you can park uh, in, in the garage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Laura. <laughs> Oh, you can nice. you can park in the garage. We were streaming upstairs. You can come up. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I put mine on Do Not Disturb already, man. <laughs> yeah, because uh, it's funny. I, I set up everything downstairs, which is in the garage, which is my man cave. And uh, yeah, she's not supposed to park her car there. And she went out. And then when she came, she comes back. And then like, I need to park or do something. <laughs> and like, ah. <laughs> Let me just try to. We check on the text. So it's, it's, your garage is the man cave. Okay. Yeah. You should you should see his setup. I'll like in the I'll garage. be. I'm, I'm sorry about this. Oh, five two minutes. Hold on. <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh, what a time, man! What a time! Now. It's yeah. only been what one minute. <laughs> yeah. So in his garage, he's got like a full setup there. Like I went there yeah. when I picked up my camera, right? And yeah. he had like. He's got like a mobile, like a desk that mo- has wheels yeah. and you can move it around. He's got his lights. He's got yeah. like the um, the umbrella with the shadow with the microphone <laughs> set up. It was so uh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I saw the DIY video of the, of the table. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but your setup looks pretty good though, like especially the background. Uh, thanks. Like it didn't take that much ac- effort. <laughs> Um, just have like an LED strip. That's it. But yeah, yeah, that's how it's 
Like, you know, I might try to do that to mine. <laughs> it's the bokeh. The bokeh just um makes it look better. Like, Come without the, if it's not bokeh, it yeah. it doesn't look that good. <laughs> it, it's just like a table with a light. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I need to do something similar. Um, I kind of took over this room, which used to be one of the kids' rooms. I went into my office. <laughs> <laughs> it's your office now. Yeah, you need to put your... <laughs> You need to put your aquarium at the Hey, guys. There. Sorry about that. That's all right. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Some things. Some yeah. things. <laughs> so, what's up? Man caves. Um, we're talking about man caves. And the room I'm in now, I think I kind of took over from my kids' room. Half of it is the office. The other half is the kids' storage. <laughs> so, <laughs> how, 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 how big is the storage? Like, is it one-fourth of everything? And uh, two third of it are your cameras and everything. Yeah, <laughs> you wish. How much is the percentage of cameras versus kids' yeah, stuff? Yeah, pretty much. Well, value wise, it's definitely more. <laughs> For sure. Okay. Well, yeah, pretty good man cave you got there, man. Yeah, my man cave is like. DIY, DIY table. Yeah, the DIY thing is, uh, I started filming, but the thing is, the background, I, I wanted the background to suck. Like, look. Ugly and everything, and when I start filming, I want small lights here, more small. I want a lot of things, so like, I need to make up my mind. So I just went up here and chose the white background. Yeah, Carlo, your man cave. Show us your man cave. It's not a man cave. It's just my room. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I love that skull. Looking pretty with a bokeh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it looks nice with a bokeh, but you know the normal. Normally, it's not that good. <laughs> this this is this is why we we get the um the you know the wide lenses isn't it so everything at the back looks so nice <laughs> yeah that's why i got a 24 uh I was using the 24 last night uh where was that his favorite uh this vlogging filming oh filming lens that i want 24 g uh g master but uh yeah i'm afraid my a7 III is gonna die and everything the a6600 which is the camera I'm using now. I'm not I'm not sponsored or anything, right? <laughs> yeah, the A6 <laughs> the A6 the six ca camera is uh, a limited recording, so hey, it's up there. Right. Yeah. I always Can thought you were sponsored by DigiDirect. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I know guys there. Like, uh, just like I should do a shout out to Mark, Mark, and uh, also oh Brad. Brad's the main guy. Brad. Yeah. Brad's yeah. the main guy. Brad, because of Sean, I got, I got into. It. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's right. I did introduce you at the start, wasn't it? Yeah, you were the one who introduced me. You're so rude. <laughs> yeah, we started. Uh, yeah. Then I left you behind. Talking about cameras, I'm really. I was really uh, uh, particular with color before, and I gave up. But uh, yeah, the first thing that I wanted was a calibrator, not a, a not a braider thing, but a calibrator. Fighter. Calibrator. Okay. <laughs> and then. Uh, Sean got me from DigiDirect, and uh, it was like a uh, quick click and collect, right? And we went there, and uh, we got it, and then Brad was straight looking at me like, Who are you? Like, I'm with him. I'm with Sean. So that's when I knew Brad. <laughs> Ever since then, I'm stuck with him. You could see him. the e-com coming in. Listen, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all, all, the, what's all the commission. Brad is, looking, like, Brad is looking like me like, oh, here's this guy again. Huh? How much am I going to make today? <laughs> I remember I when I first went down. Yeah, there was one time I was walking down there. I was holding a, a Fuji X100. Uh -huh. And he came out from the back door. And I thought, is that a Leica? Oh, definitely not. I can't afford a Leica. He goes, you never come here anymore. Your friend, Mike, Mika, always comes here. So <laughs> not you. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Sean. Like, uh, he brings you there and he leaves you there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I know the feeling. <laughs> you know the feeling. <laughs> He brings you to one place and then he leaves you there. Good luck with your life, man. Stay there and just there. Anyway, talking about digital rec and cameras, uh, what are you guys' first camera? Um, for me, I think the first one, which is a bit of a weird thing, um, I first started off with a Olympus E. Oh, Micro Four Thirds, guys. One of those old Micro Four Thirds. Oh, you started with Micro Four Thirds. That's. Ah. <laughs> yeah. 
So I kind of started merely before you guys went most likely. So then I actually had a an attached a Minolta. I think it was a Rocco eighty five one point four with it. And oh yeah, pretty much one of the the nice lens. So that kind of started me off. So, yeah. So I think yeah, moved on from there. Never stopped. Long history. <laughs> You had it weekly, or no, let's say monthly. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Can, can you remember, like, your camera history timeline, Sean? Of course, man. Oh. So, what is it? It's like, what is it? Like, it's like you kind of remember all your ex's names. Kind of thing. <laughs> How many hours will it take for us to discuss that, man? Just, 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 just want to know. <laughs> how, how, how long does live show? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. All, 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 like. all, 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 all I can say is I've gone through all the brands. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, let me think of a new brand. Uh, there should be someone, new, some new in the market. But anyway, as for me, my, my first, my first, my own camera was uh, it was the Sony DSCP. I have it here. I'm gonna switch screens. DSCP forty three. So it's more like a point and shoot camera that I travel with. And uh, funny thing about that camera is like, yeah, I was uh, technically the first camera I had was a point, uh, a film camera, but uh, that's not included here. We're talking about digital. First film camera was the what? Minolta. You know the Mil Minolta, those camera, those small one ten, like I don't know those cameras. So that was that's what that was my first camera. But when oh, I moved to digi digital, I had a, the point and shoot Sony. So it's a f full circle now. I'm I'm back to Sony. Uh. Uh, DSCP 43. Funny thing about that is I use it for scheme boarding and everything else, and it's not waterproof. And uh, the last time I used it, it died because of water and moist in it. So I left it. How yeah. How many megapixels? Oh, shit, man. That was like... Oh, man. That Three. was like 4.1. Yeah, I got a picture here. So 4.1. And uh, funny thing is uh, that camera, uh, I, I can switch... Uh, I didn't practice switching up uh, the screens with that camera, but anyway, that camera died, and then uh, just left it there. After three, four years, I checked it back again. It's on, like it turned on. I was so happy, and uh, I saw one for sale last month for around thirty dollars. I wanted to get it, but the, pro the thing is, the memory card. It's a memory stick duo. It's like those rare memory stick duos. So like, nah, I'm yeah, not going back there. But either way, yeah, gone a long way then. Just because of Sean. Oh, <laughs> did I mention your name, Sean? Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to. It's your street up you, yourself. You thank me for that, for sure. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Carlo? <laughs> yeah. Um, I started... Like, my, the first camera that I actually had for myself was a uh, Pentax KR. Ooh. And... You and your Pentax. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I love the Pentax. <laughs> um, yeah, so what happened was I, I had a dream that I got a DSLR. Okay. And I remember, like, the dream was so vivid. Like, I, I took a photo and it clicked. Click. Oh, and my. then when, when I woke up, I was like, all right, I'm getting a camera. So I, I didn't know anything about it. Typical Carlo. Yeah, so I, I just, like, um, Googled, like, best DSLR that's cheap. <laughs> and... I found a post, it was like um, Pentax forums, I think. And they were like, oh, this is the best value for money. You know, I was like, all right, Pentax KR bought that one. I think that was like $400. I mm -hmm. thought that was like super expensive back then. But I cannot know how that went. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, the, funny gonna... thing... <laughs> the funny thing about that is that, um, uh, like, after I got it, I started reading up on cameras, and I actually found that there was an issue with the KR. It had, like, a back focus issue. So I actually returned it to JV. You did? And uh, uh -huh. replaced it with a Pentax K5. <laughs> K5, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just got confused. Uh, one of the uh, Pentax KRs, they were the bulletproof ones. Like, you put sand and everything, and they're going to survive. Was that the one in the video? It was, like, the military putting it... And running water, and then it puts sand on it, and with the guns and everything. I think it was a Pentax thing. No, I think it was. I think, I think Olympus. K five, and the Olympus, yeah. Who's Olympus? Yeah. Oh, I'll I'll, I'll find for I'll look for a clip for that later. I can't flash <laughs> it in stream because I'm just a noob here. <laughs> as long as I my remember, as long as my voice sounds good, that's fine with me. 
I remember I went to Michael's the first time. I thought, wow, oh, oh, really great place. Yeah. And I went there going there trying to buy a Canon 1000D. I thought the cheapest beautiful <laughs> I remember. Then, <laughs> then I went there and I left. I, I ended up with a Sony A230. A230? <laughs> 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 yeah, the salesman goes, you don't want to go Canon. He goes, why don't you go Canon? You should go Sony. I thought, this is a new product. Ching <laughs> <laughs> yeah, So I got, I got um. Yeah. So when I went there, I, I just my, my jaw just dropped. Like, All right, let me just take my money. Let me just get the Sony. <laughs> uh, you, you, know, get it. you get yeah, tough. You get tough. Oh man, <laughs> who's that? Who's I that person who told you that? <laughs> Let's just chase him. And it, the, fu- the funny thing also with the uh, with cameras is that uh, oh hold on let me think. So that was my first camera that I really owned. That was a, a DSCP 43. And then it was only mainly point and shoots. Because that time, whenever you talk about DSLRs, they're like, shit, man, DSLRs. So like, I remember back in the Philippines, like uh, the 70D was famous then. And then it's one of the most expensive cameras. It's like buying, a, a, you're a newbie and you're trying to buy, a, how do you call this? A, an A9, which is five thousand. It's 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 really, the the pricing was really high then, and then when the D80 came, the D40 came, they went all down. So everybody's a photographer. So Sean, what's your what's your first DSLR? Well, apart from, yeah, the Sony would probably be the, the my first, and probably it's one of my favorite. I actually end up, I actually did some pretty good shots to be honest. But the thing is, a lot of those. That's pretty much they're all missing now. They're all in a corrupted hard drive. So it's pretty much useless. Oh man, like yeah, the Sony. I could just think like I really like the DSLR, but uh, when I got that, not uh, not fair for Carlo. He, he got the DSLR head. You're like, yeah, yeah. It's good for him. Yeah. Lucky him. Oh, he didn't have to suffer with the uh, four megapixel cameras. I even have this this small camera that I got from a friend. It's like a pen. It looks like this. It's a small camera, and the thing is. It stores twelve photos. Doesn't have a memory card. It 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 runs on AAA batteries. It's a very small camera. Uh, you take a photo of it, twelve photos, and it has a t- uh, counter. Once you reach twelve photos, you can't take any more photos. You can't remove the battery because the all the photos are going to be gone. So you need to go to the computer, so plug it in, take it all out, and then <laughs> take photos again. <laughs> and then it was what a horrible system. <laughs> it was, it was fun. It was like, yeah, like I was using film cameras then. I was using the Kodak KB10. And when I had that, it was like, man, this is awesome. But 12 photos in the like two, three megapixels. My phone takes better photos than, but and man, you can just imagine people yeah. today. They are so spoiled. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah. It's, it causes a bit of a worry, isn't it? When it comes to the future, when it comes to you know, cameras in general. Yeah. Like uh, megapixels are going, yeah. I don't think I don't think a cam I don't think a phone camera could ever replace a proper camera for me. I think you you miss that organic you know feel of actually. Being what a, a that's a gun, Sean. That's not a camera. Yeah. Oh, you're you're used to big cameras. Uh, I I got it. I get it. I get it. Uh, I remember those. You know, I used to get trying to get the biggest lens as possible. Oh uh, yeah. I remember you had your 70 to 200 lens. Oh, yeah. Typical Sean. I was so proud of that, man. I was so proud of that. (laughs) You had everything, man. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, Sean with the gear. And you left it on the train. You left it on the train. I'm trying to forget that, man. (laughs) (laughs) Oops. I haven't heard of this one. Okay. Tell me about this one. I I did hit a nerve somewhere. (laughs) So so this is what we're doing my Canon day. Probably that's why. That's why. I never really had a good time with Canon. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, it was. I had a 5D Mark II. I had it in a one of those Kata bags. I think it is with a 7200, and I think it had a 105, the 100 mil 2.8 L lens. Mm-hmm. Had a flash in there. So I was in that stage where I had to bring everything with me to work, even though I'm not going to use it. I bring it everything with me. I still and do. I, I still do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but. The, the purpose is I went early morning to, you know, do some shots in the city. Then I think I met, I met a guy. So he was an old work schoolmate many years ago, which I haven't seen for ages. We're just chatting. So then after we were chatting, we, we ended up going, you know, leaving Flagstaff Station. But when the door shut, I realized I left something in there. Did you get bag. it back? 
<laughs> okay, the question <laughs> now, Carlo, was what were what camera and what are the stuffs in that bag? <laughs> Strong to forget it. <laughs> uh, let's not go there. <laughs> if you didn't get it back, I can remember. I can, I can understand why you wouldn't want to think about it. What were we be talking about again? I forgot. What was that? Yeah. But, but, then, but then I ended up going, going back to Nikon. I'm gonna go D700, which is probably my, my, my dream camera. D700, <laughs> yeah. This explains why he doesn't like Canon now. Like, yeah, yeah. Whenever he shoots Canon, he shoots, Canon. he shoots he shoots <laughs> shit photos with Canon. Because, uh, yeah, it reminds him, like, yeah, the jitters on the, on the trigger are like, ah, this is crappy camera. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that, that dial, man, my thumb can't reach it. Not, <laughs> well, I can reach it, but I'm not have to stretch. It's not ergonomically great as a Nikon, man. Come on. <laughs> I never right, had a right, Canon. Right, so. Mikhail? Yeah, well, yeah. Don't, don't go, man. Don't go. Uh, basically, well, yeah, yeah. Right now, I'm I'm doing uh I I I do a lot of wedding photographies, uh right now, and uh, I started with uh, outdoor travel, like more personal travel photography. Well, uh, yeah. if you had to restart your photography journey again, what what what's the thing that you want to redo? Like, what uh, what do you I'll, think I'll went start. wrong, aside from yeah. losing that bag? Oh, sh- sorry. Oh. <laughs> Um, okay, so you'll probably connect to the last, the last thing we talked about. I think stick with one camera. <laughs> <laughs> one camera. I think, look, I think I'm definitely grateful to try Nikon, Canons, Fuji, Sony, for, you know, everything. Um, all the full frame cameras up until, I think with Canon, I went up to Mark III, I think it is. And with the Nikon, yeah, yeah. So Mark D800s, D3s, DF, my beloved DF. Oh, you bought the Canon Mark III, and I didn't want to get the the five D Mark III, and I didn't want it. You forced me to it, and I got two, three, two, three five D Mark III because of that. Still, Sean, <laughs> typical Sean. But yeah, so if I had to restart, I love you, man. I def- <laughs> <laughs> if I, if I had to restart, I'll probably stick with the one camera, um, and then probably learn from learn as much as you can with it, and then maybe look at upgrading, but like not as frequent as what I was doing. <laughs> Maybe once a year. <laughs> what? Once a year. <laughs> Rather than once a week. I can just imagine. I, I I was really I was really hating like I'm gonna stick with six D and then Sean uh gives me this camera. You can use it, man, it's alright. And then he says, Uh if you want it, you can buy it. Like, yeah, I don't want man. And later on he said, You can pay me lay by, you can just pay me whenever you need to pay me. Yeah. It was like a foot <laughs> in the door. Like uh typical Sean. Typical Sean. <laughs> I only had that Mark Three for like I think two three weeks. So yeah, I love like, it so much. So you're so you're so rude, man. <laughs> uh, I think that was the last time I went Canon. <laughs> so I remember when. So even when we were shooting, you know, I was doing second shooting weddings. Mm. I just couldn't. I was getting distracted with the buttons. I mean, I think everyone's got their own, you know, choices in regards to the best layout. And compared to Nikon, I knew where everything was compared to Canon. So, yeah, I'm not bad with Canon. I'm just saying my <laughs> preference would be different. Yeah. yeah. I definitely understand that. Yeah. How about you, Carlo? Yeah. Uh, the other thing, like, I'm, like, and I didn't really, in terms of gear, I didn't really, like, go through as much as you guys. Like, mine is pretty simple. So I went Pentax, Nikon, Sony. And, like, Two yeah. cameras in each one, so yeah. And you said that the the D eight hundred you had it for a while. Like yeah, I, the D eight hundred I had it for like maybe three years, and then yeah. that's so almost like the second longest I've had for a camera. And then I had my A seven, which repl- well, not really. I bought it alongside the D eight hundred as a toy camera, but it ended up being my main camera because I preferred <laughs> using it. <laughs> and, yeah, because I remember I was like, uh Man, I I don't want to waste my D eight hundred shutter count, so I'll, I'll just get this A seven, and I can what? use any lenses on it. <laughs> and, and then w- when I got it, it was like, oh, the, having the EDF and the live view is so much easier. Like I don't have to worry about the metering anymore. So I just used that, and then eventually I stopped using my D eight hundred and just sold that away. But yeah, That's like I mean, no no regrets about that. The only thing I wish I could change, I guess, was maybe. 
I could have started it earlier, like started getting mm. into photography earlier, um, rather than starting it a bit late because I only started it around like 2010, I think. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you would have you would have gone into the D seven hundred then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then you always bag me with that. It's like it's only twelve megapixel. Man, that's that's twenty megapixel. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Still there now. <laughs> but I must say though, like within that three years you're in D- with the D100, I tried. You know, I think you had a lot of convincing, with, you know, a lot of influence with all of us changing gears and you kind of stuck to it, which is a bit. Uh, I don't think changing so. gears. Oh, okay, let me see yeah, who I think, influences I think that's that. More you. That's only one guy. That's only one guy changing <laughs> gears. Let me. Let me. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, come on. Okay, your turn, man. Okay, what yeah. What do you do again? What, what do you redo? <laughs> yeah, uh, like I started, uh, I started uh, photography as a. Uh, let me see. Oh, that's uh, my mind keeps on changing whenever I think of that because the thing is, uh, I started uh, photography just for family photos, like on a film camera. Then uh, I started traveling a bit, and then took some photos of my of my point and shoots, and then I went to wedding. So, yep. Just getting confused. Okay, here's the thing. Yeah, uh, what I regret, because uh, photography, I, I really love taking uh, moments, taking photos. Like whenever we take a hike, we, t- we walk, I usually bring a lot of cameras. And uh, what I feel bad about is uh, prior to me shooting weddings before and prior to me having a DSLR, I took photos, but they're crappy and they're, they're nonsense. Uh, but... Uh, I look closely at those photos and I see like I see myself doing a photo with a group, photo with people, photo with everything else. So uh, like uh, right now I'm doing a lot of photos like the scenes, uh, the views, everything. But what I miss is uh, trying to take photos of your photo of yourself, uh, making memories out of it because that was where I started when I would, so when started making photos. I tried to make memories with me on it because I, I just look at my old film prints and then see like ah oh, this was the time that this happened. But there was a Brief, there was a moment when then I stopped doing that, and I had a DSLR, but uh, I'm, I had a good camera, but I didn't take photos of myself. I didn't photos of my, of my friends and me. So, yeah. So those friends you don't see anymore. Those friends, those acquaintances, so uh, yeah. everything. So what what I wanted to redo is like, whenever I take photos, when I when I when I would take those captures, I'd rather put on some uh, memory photos like me there in there, because uh, most of my photos like I take photos of people take photos of scenes oh that's a nice view that's a nice uh landscape of anything else but uh later yeah were you there uh yeah i think i was there that's my photo right but uh yeah, yeah. That, that's why you have the most selfies out of anyone yeah i'm 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 i'm, I'm read yeah that's 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 it yeah because uh like when i think of well I, I had this old album that i i scanned uh it was during my college years which is uni here in in australia i look at old photos and i saw my old truck it was still shiny, like, ah, I just sold that truck today. That was just two years ago. I sold that truck today, and it looked good in that photo, and that's a film camera, and then I had my friends there. Like, yeah, that's a good photo. It's not, it's not the awesome uh, composed photographer type, but uh, it's those memories, man. Yep. True. Good point. And that's what, pretty much what photography is, isn't it? Yeah. Getting capturing memories, so... Kind of not really spending all your efforts and time on gear, isn't it? Oh, come on, man! You're hurting me. <laughs> yeah, you're you're hurting. Oh, you're yeah. hurting us. Oh man, that's gear. that's like a uh, suicide, man. <laughs> Don't ever go there. <laughs> I always post uh, in the forums when people are like, "Oh, it's all about this, 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 and not the gear." And I was like, "Nah, I, I like the gear, so I just take photos as an excuse to get gear." <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. People say, people oh, say man, speaking about that, people say it's not about the gear, it's the photo you take. It's not about the gear. But let's face it, man. Like, let's be honest. If you have good gear, you'd love to take photos, man. I love to take photos <laughs> with your gears. Yeah, like, you, you, when, you have, uh, when you have this camera with you and then you, you kind of think, oh, this camera's better. I think I can get, take good photos with that. And you don't want to shoot with your camera. But that's the sad truth yeah. about it. Yeah, you shouldn't be affected by your camera, but uh, yeah, it's all about yeah. gear. Right? <laughs> yeah. I, I think, yeah. yeah, I think it's similar to um, like people ask, and 
you know, I've asked this question to some other fellow um, YouTubers, you know, photographers about the, the, the photography rut, you know, what kind of makes you a bit um, unmotivated to, you know, do cameras, you know, take photos. And what you were just saying right there, buying a new gear could possibly, you know. Yeah, it's a problem you know, solved. That? Yeah, yeah, new well, gear. Yeah. I need to test this gear. I'm well, going to do. It, it's, not, it's not really good influence, you know, for the newbies out there. Definitely Typical not. Sean. Yeah, that's uh, that's his. Yeah. yeah, that's that's Sean. I do it because it's like I get something new and I go back and to the same places I've already been and just take the same photo with the new gear. Yeah, and, and that's that's not the time. It looks better. Yeah. Oh, it looks be... I think I'm doing good because uh, my camera's good and my photo's good. My composition's good. Just so happened you were shooting it on 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 the sunset and it looked it looked better. So that's that's it's, that's how it <laughs> went. But anyway, that's that's it. That's it. Yeah. Oh, like um, so. Apart from new gear, I'm gonna challenge you guys. Apart from new gear, what would help you get yourself out of the rut of you know being unmotivated with photography? Hmm. Mm. Good content. Like, <laughs> yeah, good content. I'll start off. So, Cinematics. so what I've been doing. So what I've been doing, especially, I think it's something. It's not really because of a rut. It's just something to kind of keep shooting. I think. Yeah. Like if I go to the local milk bar, if it's just a block away, I'll bring my camera. Um, I may look weird having <laughs> have a camera. I think if I had a DSLR, I probably won't. But if I have, like I said, I'm, I've got the, as you know, the, uh, I took out my camera at the same time as you. I've got the Fuji um, and the GR, so I can just put this in my pocket. Yeah, it's two and cameras. Then, yeah, so, he doesn't look weird. Hey, guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, 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 last weekend, I was, I was, I was carrying my, my, um, the, my Nikon F, and I was carrying also my, my Fuji X100 F. So definitely I wasn't going out exercising in lockdown, but I think it's just that. So, um, so yeah, so Carrying just weights. Getting out, yeah, for sure. My neck was so freaking you know, sore by the time we finished. But yeah, so just I think bringing a camera out, taking photos, just even a quick one or two snapshots here and there. Um, in another way is, yeah, just, you know, I think following YouTubers. Look, yes, in the past I've been looking at and following YouTubers who review gear. But, yeah. <laughs> but recently I've been looking at photographers who are doing like you know point you know you have like a a gopro on top of the camera and doing a street photography that way and then it kind of helps me keep active from that point of view i'm gonna pick up on that youtube thing uh i've seen a lot of uh, photo walker i mean uh like street photographers uh they have content they have good content but uh the content is limited like it just stays there like they go back and do the same photos and the thing is the thing about that is that I'm I'm seeing them walk around the streets take photos and I I don't uh, I know street photography but the, I look at some of their photos they they're a bit blah. I'm following this guy at uh, Instagram which is very good and I could I'd, I'd recommend that guy to do some uh, some videos like some YouTube videos because it's really cool when you're trying to create this photo this interesting photo and uh i want to know how, what's what what is it that you're thinking how you do it i know this guy he's he's, he's handle is street apertures uh oh, you must have good. heard him yeah oh, he's so good yeah, yeah. like Tell I, me about him. i'm following this Tell uh, uh i saw this guy on youtube he was he was doing like photography but whenever he posted photos sometimes he, he does it it's so it's so rude how he, how he takes photos and his photos are like meh I've seen street photographies with good composition, which is so powerful. Again, from that guy, you know that street street apertures. You should follow it. I should write something here: street apertures. No, something. no. I'll, I'll recorrect. It's street underscore apertures. Oh, are you following him too, man? Yeah, he's a pretty good bloke, you know. He's awesome, man. Yeah, he's awesome. Like, yeah. uh, I've heard he he was he he was told off at, at Flagstaff, but that that's just should be fine. <laughs> No, no, I remember that memory. I saw it on on um, Instagram. It was in. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's get let's get out of it from persona. Like, let's yeah, hear this. Let's hear this. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just saying, but it's, it's. Remember I had that photo which I do like that, and then it came out with street apertures. Oh, so you're a fan? Yeah, I'm, I'm probably more than a fan. I think I'm, I'm more um, connected in a certain way. Certain way. Uh, <laughs> Yes, yeah, but uh, yeah. Seriously, um, talking uh, like uh, I've seen a lot of street photographers who, yeah, post good content, talks about the camera, but uh, what mo most of their content doesn't give me uh, an I uh, 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 an idea of how they think their shot is and why they cho chose that shot. 
or maybe yeah, uh, you don't have to take, uh, you don't have to film photos like taking photos, but uh, on that street, but you have like t- talking about the shot, why you chose the shot, what is it in this composition that makes it powerful, or something like that. The photos like just people just looking at the back, and then it's not framed properly. Just me complaining, maybe, maybe that's it. <laughs> but yeah, taking uh, for me also back to the main topic that we're talking about. Uh, whenever uh, I get bored with photography whenever uh, I think that uh, yeah I'm in a rut and I'm not doing anything with photography what I usually do is uh, uh, I film videos yeah I film videos because uh, <laughs> I love photography so much before like I not much now because we're locked down but uh, I bring my camera every day like when you first met me Sean I bring my 5D Mark II everywhere like everywhere with the 1740 that was my favorite setup and uh, yeah, take photos, snapshots, and everything. But uh, when every when all the gears came in, just because of Sean, I got confused of which gear, gears I need to bring. There was even this one time we went to the Grampians. We went we went hiking, and I brought my 5D Mark III on the side with a 1740 lens, and I brought this film, heavy freaking film camera on me, and I was bringing oh, two wow. cameras hiking yeah. with a big bag at my back. So like. Yeah, made my life a bit complicated. Yeah. But yeah, uh, w- w- whenever I get tired of shooting camera f- photos, there was one time I, I used to shoot film just to get me back to photography because the film is whenever you take a photo, you don't you don't know what's like, did I go good? Did I go right? You can't chimp. You just take a photo and wish wish you have a good good capture. After that, uh, developing film went yeah, too expensive for me. So I went filming so like yeah that's why i'm doing video we're doing videos now with carlo like carlo he doesn't do a lot of videos but now he's doing a lot now he's even streaming man look at look at look at that guy no, man. he's gonna be the top 10 man in yeah. youtube <laughs> i can stream yeah. this in youtube next time just, just men- mention men- just mention us man <laughs> you're the next big thing not the man. not the big <laughs> yeah the big the other big thing a big thing uh, okay, okay. But look, yeah. talk, talking about the film, I think yeah, I think that's what I'm in the phase at the moment. So <laughs> you're talking about street adventures, yeah, taking photos, and with my GR, or I tend to like I remember bringing this to work every day. Yeah, I was shooting. Still want that camera. One hundred. I still hate that camera. One hundred. I was doing like one hundred to one hundred fifty photos a day, just taking photos straight. And I realized out of the one hundred fifty photos, I'm keep the rate is very little. Like I was keeping only maybe five or ten of them. So. I think that's one reason why I went to film. Um, is I don't have like you've got only twenty four. Twenty four. Yeah, come to come to think of it, I still have around this camera. How long here. has it been there? Uh, How long has that film been in there? It's been there for a while. I think I have only uh, I have three shots left uh, on this camera, and I have it. And this one here still has film. I think uh, out of thirty six shots, this has thirty four taken. So I have two more, but I don't have a lens for this camera. I can't shoot it anymore, and I don't want to have it developed. So it just stays there. <laughs> so like, yeah, it's it's funny. Like, yeah, film is fun. Film is good. It refreshes you. But uh, yeah, yeah sometimes. Well, I try and implement that to you know like using the X one hundred F. Is I'm being a bit more selective with my photos. Yeah. So instead of just spray, what do you call it? What do they say? Shoot and spray. I kind of not do that oh. now. So I kind of yeah. Keep it, you know, just be very selective and just go a bit more slow in my photography. And I think that's actually enjoyed, made me enjoy photography again, to be honest. I'm going back to what you do. You do street photography mainly. And the thing is, funny thing is, I try, I do also do it sometimes. And you take a lot of photos. It's funny. I, I, you, I tried doing it on Instagram. I'm trying to post one photo a day. And uh, you try to make a lot of photos. You try uh, to make around, let me see, you take around 100 photos that much. Or you can just take 40 in a day. And then you chose, choose two photos to post. Yeah. Problem is, like, sometimes I don't delete much. I'm under OCD. And they pile up. They pile up. I'm getting stressed out a bit. And yeah. what I'm doing now is that, uh, yeah, just to keep, keep it down, like, keep it down. Like, I, I usually mm. take photos with the RX100, put it in the iPad. iPad doesn't have much memory. So that I have to chuck mm. them out. And I have to delete some. So, like, it's keeping me from spraying. But, uh, mm. yeah, it's it's... It's a new discipline. It's fun. Yeah. I, I'm because I think I'm, I see your photos and they come out. They don't stop. You, you, uh, I, re- I realize you're street. Fo- you're street apertures, man. 
You look like him. Damn. <laughs> do we have your autograph? Oh, damn it, man. It's like... Oh. How do you know? Are you oh. sharing mine? <laughs> oh, the famous logo. So I've been trying to... I've, I've got... I actually printed some stickers of these. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, logo. Okay. I'm a fan. Yeah, I think... I think... Look, the street averages, I think it's, I'm, I've actually kind of slowed down a lot, a lot more, to be honest, so not like before, um, but I think in a good way. Um, eventually, once the lockdown kind of starts to, you know, yeah, those ones. So, <laughs> I, I printed those so I can stick them on different areas of you know, anywhere I visit. Street it's in the Great Ocean Road already. You have some in the Great Ocean Road, some places that I hike. And uh, I'm going to put your number there just in case if they want to complain or something. <laughs> <laughs> in a few places in yeah. <laughs> I was in Bantayan. <laughs> I, okay. I think it's in a hotel in Bantayan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I was I was ah oh, man, the, the thing is I was out uh at Mount Cook and there's this sign like like some of the signs say no drones or something like that. At the back of it there's a lot of stickers. And then uh like I was there and then like oh shit, I need to get Sean's sticker. And I look at my wall, I brought two, and the other one was messed up. Yeah. And the other one was like, I, I don't want to put it here, I want to put it somewhere else. So I, I look at some of my gears, and I saw one of my force. I took it off of my gears and put it at the oh back of that gosh. thing. I was like, I was smiling. I, I even forgot to take a photo of it. I was like so excited to put it there. Yeah, yeah, put it there. Put it there. That was funny. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that's why I got some, some good following. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Without your help, man, I'll probably be within the one K mark or something. So, <laughs> hey, Carlo, what do you do when you're in, in a rut? You, you you don't want to take photos. I know you 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 do a lot of things <laughs> aside from streaming. Uh, you know? I, nah, I I haven't taken a photo in a long time. <laughs> you're still in a rut. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm in a rut right now, but but my gear isn't being wasted because. The gear I'm using right now, mm -hmm. camera right there. Ah, what camera is yeah, that, man? That's the photo camera. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's being used for video right now for streaming. Yeah. So yeah, um, it's good. But like, yeah, unlike you guys, I've never been really into film. I've never had the problem of taking too much photos because sometimes, you know. like, I go like to locations like four hours drive. Like, Mikkel was with there. He yeah. drove four hours. To a waterfall, yeah. I take three shots. I drive back. <laughs> yeah, man, that's damn. No, like that's we went. Right, man. <laughs> we could have we could have brought you there, Sean, but you were busy. But yeah, yeah. Just, just, that just, was. I'm having having family, man. I've, 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 I've I'm a home. What is it? Home husband. I stay home. Man. I was a bit sleepy sleepy that trip, but uh, if I was not in a if I had better gear like the A7S3, uh, I could have film, I could have film a, a good bucket shot f video like doing all this traveling at night with all this thing. Uh, that was my that was my main point of the that was my main uh, thing of that film that I made. That we we were traveling and then we went there and it was cold and you can see those leaves turning around in the roundabout. Uh, I was thinking of that. We went there. And we went there, it was raining. It was like, we're trying to do this bucket shot of this waterfall. And we don't, we have no idea what to expect. We didn't even have angles. And when we got there, it was raining. And Carl took some photos. Good thing he went down there. He went down to the waterfall and took the photo. I was like, ah, I can't be bothered, man. <laughs> I did drive. It's okay. I can go back to sleep. <laughs> but yeah, I, you, I think you saw that video. video. Yeah, yeah, that was like, but if I, if I had better time, I could have, done a lot of b-roll my my lens was a bit wide so if i can take a, a video of you driving it would you would look fat and we don't want that like if i took yeah it's, i'm already fat yeah no, no it's, it's like it's good yeah you don't know what i mean but i think that's what i'll be a hopeless landscaper because I'll, I'll be too lazy to drive three four five hours i love to drive uh i'm just scared when i'm doing i want to do it sometimes i want to do it alone because uh mm. it's easier don't I don't have to drag people drag. around because the thing is, like, I take a lot of time. I take a lot of time. I take my time, and I don't want to drag people people around. But mm. it's pretty scary. You're going out there; it's completely dark. And uh, I tried going yeah. to the Dandedongs, 
it was completely dark and I can hear the crickets and everything else. And I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I just want to hug a tree or something. But uh, <laughs> I said, scrap this photography shit. Let's go home. <laughs> that <was> funny. <laughs> even, even, even heading up, uh, I went to, yeah, I remember I went to Cape Shank. Uh, it was, it was an eclipse and I don't know what I was thinking. I went there and I arrived exactly when the eclipse was full on, full on, full on. I, I didn't set up anything. I need to hike. And I was there with a friend. And mm. it was nice because, uh, yeah, we, we took photos there in the dark. But the thing is, if I imagine if I was there alone, oh, shit, man, that was like creepy, scary shit, man. I saw some people there, but I don't know. You have this feeling like if you, you're you scared, you, can just, you can't just you can just call somebody, man, I'm scared. Are you scared too? Something like that. <laughs> but if there are two of you there, you're going to say, yeah. man, I'm scared. Are you scared? Yes, I'm scared too. So let's run. Come on. So you, you can you know that somebody there is empathizing that you're scared with you but (laughs) (laughs) but you do it alone yeah exactly because if you're taking a photo doing a long exposure no one you don't know who's behind your back freeze give me your camera (laughs) (laughs) oh there's one thing also like i went i went i went hiking alone it was in the afternoon uh here in dandedong it's near, near my place i was bringing two cameras and then i was walking and then i saw this Two deers. We like it was far away. I can so- see two heads, and there was a bit of sunlight from behind them. It was a perfect photo, and a perfect for video and everything else. I was like, "Oh man, that's a good shot." Then later on, oh, it's that. Guy. You see, in the Philippines, we have this called sigbin. You know, they look like kangaroos, but they're mythical creatures, and they can, yeah, just believe, man. They can snap yeah, you, and you get you get go you get gone. You're gone, man. You're gone. So I saw that, and I realized, what if they're those, man? What if those, I don't know, I'm just thinking way off my head. But, <laughs> but when you're alone, you can't like, oh shit, shit, what should we do? Like, I talk to myself, what should I do? Oh, damn it, that's, that's, that's creepy, that's crazy. I shouldn't talk to myself that that happens when I'm, when I'm filming alone. But uh, if you're in the street doing it, that's, that's fine. But yeah. yeah. Fine. Other well, you just, have to keep, you just have to keep an eye out for the people who, yeah, they try and stop you for taking photos of the people. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Do you have an experience uh, about that? <laughs> well, yeah. So the, I think that kind of ruined my street photography. So I think it was like early this year in Southern Cross Station, not Flagstaff. It was Southern. Southern Cross. Oh, yeah. Southern Cross. My mistake. That was another guy. Yeah. <laughs> so I was walking. You know, you got those concrete pillars. Yeah. Those annoying so concrete, girl, ugly pillars. Girl, yeah. So there was a girl using a phone, just sitting, you know, sitting on top of one of those concrete pillars. So was she cute? We rush hour. No oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, strictly, you know, strictly about photography. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <talk>. so business. <laughs> yeah, so so I was taking a photo. I want to do a bit of a. I mean, kind of talk about bucket shot, bucket shot, and I don't really have one, but I think that was probably one I was trying to aim for. So you have someone who's still, and then you can see the rush out of everyone going to work, so you can see people going through between the pillars. So I wanted to take a photo of a bit of like a long exposure and keeping it still. So I did that. It was a hopeless shot, but. There was a guy. There was a guy who looked at me and he goes, "Hey, hey, man!" And I knew straight away I was in trouble. So, hey, are so you taking guy, a photo of me, man? I'm not posing no, for no. you, man. No, sorry, I, I don't do that. Uh, is it so, a good side? Is so, this good content? <laughs> so when when I shoot, so when I shoot, I, I walk like that. So they, I walk like that. So they don't know I'm taking a photo. So then this guy came along and yelled out, "Saying, like, hey, man, you took a photo of that girl." So I'm like, "Oh, sorry, man." <laughs> no, man, I'm taking a photo so, of that guy. What do you think well, of me? <laughs> so I actually, I actually showed her. I mean, I got I got terrified. So I actually showed her the photo, and she actually had no issues about it. She said, "No, it looks fine." But I deleted it, which I shouldn't have. Oh but, man! Uh, one, one massive regret is I shouldn't have deleted because she had no issues. And then he, he advised me that he's a police officer because I, was, I asked, him, "Are you sure? Are you really a police officer?" Because now I work in the big police, but he's not a police officer. So janitor. He his badge. He's, he's probably some admin, yeah, in a power trip. So he what well, he called the police and you know, asked you know for someone to go there. And then the girl started getting annoyed because it's already been what five, ten minutes. Yeah. And she was getting late for the train. So she he actually realized that she's the one that's actually getting more annoyed than him. So yeah, eventually he let us go. No one no cop rang me. I gave him my phone number, no one rang me. So but I think since then that's actually made me lose confidence taking photos. So you're talking about my Instagram where I took photos of people right in front. I don't do that anymore. I think. I oh do. come on! Uh, no, well, I mean I do, but not as much as I used to. So I actually take photos where 
you're like probably, I don't know, two, three feet away, right at their face. But now I, I try not to. Um, I try and incorporate the, like, the structure of the building and maybe wait for someone to come past mm. and do it that way. So, yeah, so that kind of changed the way I did my photography in general. So, bucket shot, I don't really have one. I mean, I, I'd like to see, you know, I'm doing, I do kind of get a picture. If I'm doing landscape, I want to get some sort of a bucket shot with the waves moving and something, you know, with the sunset. But with street, there's not really much you can really yeah. do, to be honest. I remember, I remember. Oh, landset. Speaking of landscapes, yeah. When are you gonna start doing them? Yeah, man, you you do good landscape well, we before. Now with the lockdown. You just do the landscape of your lawn, like lawnscapes. Yeah, lawnscapes. Yeah. That's a new thing. You might, you might, good. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, nah, uh, talking about um, street photography, travel, you were talking uh, that street photography. You know Tristan, right? You know you see his photos. Mm. He used the GH GF one, and it's a uh, mm. twenty eight mil also fourteen mil. Mm. times two 28 and funny thing is I, I i walked with him once and you know uh, this some people like chopping something and he was like two feet in front he took the camera and usually that is so swift but the thing is he took him a while it, like he was trying to shoot and he walked out i was like yeah how'd you do that man he was so cool he even he even told yeah. me Sorry about this, Tristan. He even told me that uh, in Sunshine he was shooting and there was this lady, are you taking a photo of me? And that woman chased him. Oh, <laughs> he had to run. <laughs> he had to run. But, you know, Sunshine, you, you can't photos, just yeah. show them your camera in Sunshine. <laughs> he <laughs> ran, man. He's got good photos. He's got yeah. good photos. Yeah, he, he does. He, I've, I've like worked with camera. him. He's so swift and silent and uh, he just stares and everything. And there was one time I was walking with Romel he had a 23 1.4 on the Fuji and we were walking and it was this pretty lady on the, uh, having her baby on the, on the pram. Yeah. And then Romel took a photo and the lady was like, I can see the face. Like, did you take a photo? I like, Ooh! I was bringing a camera. I was yeah. this close to throwing my camera away. And Romel was like, Oh no, no. Cause I don't know the way he was looking at it. He was, he was shooting from his hip and a, was flipping the screen but you can see that it's so clear like he like me I, I take a photo and then don't look at it like do this do that and like this camera here this camera I have street photos with this camera this is full manual what I do is I, I look at a look check the exposure go back look focus go back and then by the time uh, when the when somebody just poses well I go and shoot and then go down that's three that's three three yeah. movements but Romel was doing it this way. It was so fun. Like, and I saw Tristan. He was so so swift. But uh, oh, the way the way I do oh, it that's is, too I big. At, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll, but the way the way I would do it though is I would look. I'd point somewhere else at similar distance. Yeah. And then when they're looking, then I remember. I remember. I was I was in a library uh, at ACU, and I had this big camera, and uh, there was this la- this lady. This uh, let's call it chick. Yeah, this chick sitting in front, yeah. and the lighting was good. And what I did was I was like looking at it, and then went to put the camera down, put it up, and took a photo and put it down. And I was with somebody, and somebody was like, tap me. Hey, you can't do that. Like, what? What are you talking about? It was somebody with me, and he told me, "Nikan, you don't have to shout. Sorry, you don't have to shout." Good thing I was not. I was in the library. It was just so scary, but yeah. Either way. Yeah, this is why I don't take street. <laughs> I never run into this problem. <laughs> but with, with a bucket shot, with you, I mean, you, like I said, landscape is probably your your forte, isn't it? But like, what would you? What's your bucket shot? Uh, I don't really, I don't really have one in mind. Like, um, for me, I probably just like, like my goal is to find a photo that I'm happy enough with that I can print it big, like a. Like on a big metal print poster size, like I'd be happy to pay like maybe five hundred dollars to get that printed, and then that's it. You know, you know, get that done. But never happened yet. There's one photo that's come close, which was like um, a photo <laughs> of um, the the Eiffel Tower in Paris. But mm, much. um, see, I I took that with my A7 mm. and resolution. Though, and I'm like, yeah, I, I need more megapixels. Come man, that resolution's fine, man. Come on, man. 
He's the pixel guy. Whenever you talk yeah. about pixels, talk talk to Carlo, Sean. Whenever you talk about street and quick photos, yeah, I talk no. to Sean. But whenever you tell, want to talk about shit and everything else, you talk to me. Okay. And, and you know what? Well, I remember with I know Carlo is, even though his camera can go up to thirty two thousand ISO or sixty four thousand. No I man, that that's a, that's too noisy. No, yeah. 100, 100, 200, 100, 200. I can't take that. <laughs> that's a, that's so a, that's. These, uh, come on, so show like, off again. Uh, like, no, Stop it, like Sean. IS, these are like ISO. I'm, 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 I'm going out now. I'm cutting. Uh, coming. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I really love these that, Sean. Like ISO, no, these are GR, man. These are like ISO 3200. Yeah, and the GR is not good with ISO. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I still like it. The thing is, yep. Yeah, uh, I'm with Canons. Canons just has before it has the crappy, uh, crappy ISO, and uh, yeah. Well, I love night photos because the thing is. They're not flat. They're interesting mm. with different lights around. And uh, yeah, my bucket shot is like trying to get a, you see those travel photos when you, you try to get the Milky Way and you're on this mountain, like in Iceland, you're on a cliff. I want to get those photos, but uh, like I said, I'm scared with going there at night and it's annoying. But uh, I'm trying, still trying to learn it, uh, uh, learn a lot of it. Thing is, mm. up. Uh, uh, one of the things with photography is that I really love the Canons because uh, when I try to edit them, uh, dynamic range, I can lose some of them that I don't need. But uh, me shooting at night, the best camera for me when I was shooting Canon was the 6D. Other than that, the 5D was meh. 60 was the best one. My, one of my mm. best photos was me and uh, Tristan doing a photo walk uh, in the old bridge, I mean, uh, the bridge across Fl- uh, Flinders. And it was raining. And I can feel like there was clouds up there. I can take photo. I can take out those uh, buildings. I have two people, a person bringing a camera, a, um, no, a red umbrella. So it was so nice. I, lo- I love taking night photos and uh, pump up the ISO at around 6,400 or was it more than that? So opposite of Carlo. <laughs> but yeah, like uh, I love my bucket shot is like trying to get a night shot. And funny thing is I don't take a lot of night shots. I just, I even did one night shot when I was in New Zealand and that was pretty cold and creepy for me. Man, like my bucket shot is one uh, of the things that I like one of my challenges. I can't get it. So I want to get it, but uh, it's hard for me because I can't like, go alone. I get scared sometimes. Mm. Like imagine me, I was I was taking that photo of me, the selfie and and then the glacier water. Uh that night shot that I had with a with a red headlamp. I was there, it's completely dark, taking a photo, and then suddenly from very far, this this glacier just melted and splashed in the water. And in my head, I was thinking that there was a big wave coming over me and it's going to wash me off. <laughs> so I took my camera and, you know, this rocky hill, I sprinted up the hill. And when I turned on my, my, my flashlight, which is a small glacier that fell in the water, but still. I want those are my bucket shots. I wanted. I wanted you, should, you should have just stand ground and keep looking through your viewfinder. Man. I imagine those. That, if if that was a big like avalanche and everything just came in and just cold water. Shit! I can't swim. It's too your, cold. Your, your camera's waterproof, man. Sorry about it. I can't <laughs> swim. That's shit. <laughs> anyway, yeah. That's... Have, you, have you guys ever printed any of your like personal? Because I know you're doing like weddings, so you print wedding books and all that. But, like, Lately, I haven't photos. been printing, but I really want to go into print. The only thing is, uh, like when I was yeah, when I started uh, back in the Philippines, I really hated print because uh, you try to envision it this way. You print it; it's not good. You have to go back make tweaks, and doing that is expensive. Like ah, the colors die. So like, I had this whole set of wedding photos. I look, I think ah, oh, they look good. When I have them printed, and it's the five R small f- uh, captures. I can see the noise, and I just want to chuck everything to the to the bin. Like, man, when you print it, it's so <laughs> ugly. I don't want to do this. But yeah. All right, man. I mean, you can't like, like with landscape. You said you wanted to print one, like yeah. a bucket shot. But have you tried printing any, like in like in a like a wall mount or anything? No, because I haven't found one that I'm happy with. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh man, you're too picky, man. He's too picky. Even that, the one, the one, uh, what is the Louvre Museum? That's one yeah. of the best shots. Uh, yeah, and he wants it to be straight and everything else. <laughs> yeah, you should see my. Um, it's okay, my Sean. That, that separates him from us, so he can't post a lot of photos. We can post as more as we can. He can't beat us because, uh, yeah, he has to get the best photo. Look like at that. See, M- M- Mary's been, my wife's been wanting me to print, you know, as a wall mount. I don't have anything good enough. 
the print player. Ah, uh, man. Oh, what the hell, done. Sean? Not good enough. Yeah, exactly. Take a photo like, of me there. Not like, not like, not like a landscape. <laughs> She yeah. like a so maybe I'll ask one of you. When you had when like. you had a D750, was it D850? No. That was the yeah, high uh, megapixel camera. Yeah, 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 you should yeah, have yeah, taken a. I remember you took a photo with a 50 mil and that, and you cropped that small thingy on the horizon, and it was like, man, you you use the, you see, you look like you're using a zoom lens. That made me think I want to get a high resolution camera. Yeah. And when I look at my hard drives, I just change my mind. Okay, I'm not gonna go high resolution. That's gonna kill my hard drives. DSR. Yeah. <laughs> what What's your most favorite camera? Is this actually? good content? Out of everything. <laughs> what? Sorry. What's What's your your most favorite camera? Uh, I know yours. <laughs> I know yours. Which one? Uh, which one? Uh, of course, the one that you always come back. You sold it and you want to buy it yeah. again. Yeah. Um, the yeah. Classic yeah. looking. Yeah. The DF. Oh, yeah, the DF. <laughs> I remember. I'm gonna answer for you. I like the DF. I'm Sean. 12, I like the DF. Twelve thousand eight hundred ISO, man. Twelve thousand eight hundred ISO, clean. Yeah. I love the. I love the so. Uh, I started with the Nikon's because they 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 film. They they feel sturdy in the hand, but when I moved to Canon, which was when did I move to Canon? I moved to Canon at around. Uh, I forgot, but uh, when I moved to Canon's, the Canon's I like. Ah. Uh, there's no green tinge. But you can never tell the green tinge. It's just you who's thinking that. Like, but look, that's just character, man. Yeah, it's character. No, when you're shooting weddings, it's no. No. You're wrong. No. You can remove it. No. I don't want to remove like, it from well, 200 photos that in one scene. Nah, man. Anyway, yeah. Uh, even, if, even if my shot's a bit unfocused, if, as long as it's nice, man, who cares? Man? It's fine. Can't do it. <laughs> Uh, if I'm if I'm gonna talk about the color, uh, the best camera that I have is the five D Mark II. That's the best color I can think yeah, of. True, good point, Mark. That's the best color that I can think of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, other than that, uh, the rest are just uh, bells and whistles, like fast focusing yeah. and everything else. Mm, yeah, but whenever I talk about colors, I'd always go back to the five D Mark II. Mm. For the handy cameras, for the small cameras. Mm, Fuji, GR. maybe GR. Fuji. I won't have a GR, but uh, no, nah, not now. If somebody's gonna donate, what? like uh, so, some street photographer who doesn't want his GR anymore, I can always take that GR. <laughs> yeah, man. This we have, will be with me forever. We forever, have. Man. I have a, a good home for anything that's not needed, like a, an old GR that the photographer doesn't want. <laughs> okay. it'll, it'll be very valuable because uh, I might, pictures, man, I might lend him my A nine. But just no. lend him my A9, uh, yeah, I could, yeah, just in case he thinks about it. But anyway, yeah, that's how things goes. I but, have uh, about Colin. I have an F3, oh. which you can shoot from the hip by just removing this camera thing here. You can shoot uh, from the hip. Too, I know. I've that's that why too, I, I wanted you to show it. But uh, yeah, you can. Yeah. Oh, about uh, you, Colin? Look at, man. Oh, um, look at yeah, that! Look at that! This one. This one. What? This one. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on. A7 III. <laughs> He's doing it as well. <laughs> Try to do it, man. Is I this good content? Yes. I guess. Hold on. Look at autofocus. Is this good content? <laughs> <laughs> it's just cinematic. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. That, Sean, uh, let's talk about that cinematic thing. Uh, I'm following this guy what? in... I'm following this guy on uh, f about photography. Like I've followed a lot of guys in in YouTube regarding photography. I follow Peter McKinnon, but not now anymore. Not anymore. I follow Maddie, no, but not anymore. I follow Levi, but not that much anymore. Uh, come on, but yeah, it's funny because uh, yeah, I've I've always watched uh, photography uh, yeah. YouTubers, but now I'm yeah. I'm follow I'm having fun with cam camera conspiracies, and he does. <laughs> You, you should follow that. The guy is like, is this good content? He, he at first, is I, I'm, thing? funny thing is, uh, yeah, he, he's trying to look for the best camera. And, uh, best yeah. Video camera. The best, best, best video camera. camera. Yeah, the best video it camera. Of photographers. And the thing is, I, mean, I, I lose interest. Yeah, yeah. But it, it's funny because the thing is, I really hate him. He's so annoying. He, like, he wants, like, I want this, I want Peter McKinnon to look at, I, you look at his face, it's so annoying. But later on, when you try to go to, 
you try to get to his uh, later uh, his post like uh, Carlo said his posts are getting better but uh yeah I don't believe Carlo when I look at it I was laughing my ass out like oh shit this guy's like a breath of a breath of fresh air from all the mm-hmm. photography jargons and all this thingy over there but how about you uh you following any specific YouTuber or something me um yeah a few but <laughs> the more film to be honest now. <laughs> who'd you which one um I remember so, you were following Matt Granger before. No way, man. What the hell? <laughs> Just yeah. teasing you, man. <laughs> what, what is, his, what's with his eyebrows? <laughs> what's that saw that from that? I can't watch it. I can't watch. That's the reaction I need. <laughs> what? Well, no, so I, uh, I haven't noticed angry, that. The angry photographer guy? Whatever his name is. <laughs> angry for, uh, yeah, yeah. Now I, I blocked him a while ago. <laughs> He keeps popping up. He's like, I don't want to yeah, watch no, your videos. Yeah, no, no, no. Recommended. Get, get out of my feed. His voice, man. His voice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. For me, um, I'm following a local guy. Um, so pushing film. His name's Hashim. He's a Melbourne photographer. He used to work in Michaels. Mm. But he's more film. Um, like I said, you and know these guys. Um, Jay Rose is half kilo. He's based in. He's American, based in um Britain or England somewhere. Um, Nick Carver film. He does a little more of the medium formats, large formats, doing landscapes. He's really Carla, into you'd film. Like him. He's yeah, really into film. Um, <laughs> King Jax is a filmer in America. Um, He's in the face. Yeah. Um, Matt Day. You got. You guys know who Matt Day is, right? Yeah, yeah. You sent me a link. I don't know. I didn't know about him till you sent the link. Because uh, I'm 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 close-minded sometimes. <laughs> I just stare um, at some things that I want, like some things like uh, things that I uh, I found out like oh that's cool. I didn't I didn't re- realize it's good, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, a few guys, but you know, I said mainly films. I think because the reason why is they don't just do cameras, but they do a lot about you know techniques and going out and shooting and I mm-hmm. said that kind of helps in general. So, where are you, Carlo? Who do you follow? Um, not we're gonna, we're gonna follow you soon. Photographer. Hey, no, nah, there's um Thomas Heaton is the landscape Heaton, guy. yeah, yeah, he's he's good. Um, his his recent videos I've bad not yeah. Yeah. so yeah. He's been he's yeah he's been he shifted off from landscape recently. Yeah, lockdown. Bad. Yeah, but yeah, that's all right. Um, but yeah, the common kind of guy. Uh, he uses like a Canon. He's a uh, Canon, but he's trying the Fuji now. Fuji yeah. XT4. Oh, oh, good, like good choice. Good choice. Um, <laughs> medium format film, the large format film with like the, sh- the feet of. Yeah, he's trying film also. Like, uh, he might <laughs> yeah. want to follow him, Sean. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm cool. not trying. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the common ones like uh, Peter McKinnon, Mati Poya, mm. and yeah, like them. I, and I guess yeah, like um, camera conspiracies is awesome. It's not really photography. Oh, like, it's not. He, it's makes, about that. he it... makes fun of photographers. He was like, "Hey, Stacy, focus here." Oh, I lost <laughs> <it>. <laughs> hey, if if you yeah, it's it's the content. It's it's the fun. It's take uh, taking a breather. All those, uh, all those specification stuff. Like ah, uh, like how how he talks in the camera. Ah. Uh, I think I did that, and I, he he does he does this sometimes. <laughs> he's gonna have somebody like he's gonna have himself do this, and he's gonna have a machine. He's gonna do this, like oh man, I want to do that. Like and how he catches up <laughs> with a joke. But you, you, you don't watch him for information. You you watch oh, okay. him for comedy. Full on. Yeah, full oh, yeah. comedy. What, yeah, like what is he? American, American, uh, Canadian, Canadian. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like Speaking Canadian, of Heaton, like Canadian YouTubers, isn't it? Yeah, we're, I'm Heaton, getting a lot of Canadian YouTubers. It's I don't know if it's mm. me just starting with Pierre McKinnon and everything just went there because I'm following this guy also. Uh, uh, you know the you the Instagram guy. I forgot his name. Oh, come on, I forgot his name. Ah, the Instagram guy. He does a lot of Instagram. I forgot his name. <laughs> yeah. My goodness, <laughs> that narrows it down. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Let me quickly check. Okay. So Peter McKinnon. I used to I used to follow Peter McKinnon. I think he's great. But there was one video which kind of touched me a little bit. I think he initially called it street photography. Have street do street photography, and he was ended up taking photos of his Nike shoes. So I think he had a bit of flack with that. Then he had to change his title to urban photography. So I think that was kind of my last video I had with him. Then I kind of away a little bit. I mean, nothing bad. Yeah. 
So, uh, I'll use this, um, I need to try to check this conspiracy camera guy you're talking about. It's just comedy and everything else, and it's fun. It's, uh, yeah. again, like a, a breathe of fresh air. But, yeah, like, yeah. I'm following this guy who's, uh, uh, what was that thing that uh, I posted with uh, Maddie and, let me just quickly check, Maddie uh, and Peter podcast, hold on. I don't uh, mind that Maddie Damn it, it's Jesse so Driftwood, oh my goodness. <laughs> and now people are like, uh, dude, oh. it's been six months, you shut up, five. Shut up, uh, shut up. Like, are you, Can you hear that? He, right now he's in Arizona, no. how did he get there? He, uh, it's playing on my end, and it's like annoying me. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, yeah, it, it's jo- Jesse Difford. What he does is. Uh, Were you watching X-Files or something? I was looking uh, for the film in YouTube, but the thing is, he does Instagram videos, and he does this with a camera, and he edits them. And the good thing, uh, the thing that he does is, you know, Instagram. They before Instagram, you can't save them, so he films it, and the next day it's gone. So you put a lot of things into it, and then the next day it's gone. It's like him trying to put up videos and everything, and he he doesn't even back up. Uh, not until now, not until l- lately. I talk. I heard him talk about backing up. He doesn't back up, and it was like typical Jesse. He doesn't back up, and he he went uh, road tripping before in, in the U.S. and he had one of his guy friends got drunk, and they had a good video about it. They can't put it on online, so they ended up deleting it because he doesn't save he. He he tries to make That's content, weird. but uh, he doesn't save it. So it's it's fun. It's he, yeah. You, I'll probably tell show you more about that. It's more videos, so it's not applicable to you. Like I said, uh, videos like arrest from photography. Like during this lockdown, what do you guys do? How do you how do you cope up with your photography? What do you do? Take a photo of yourself or what? <laughs> no, no. I was thinking of macros, um, but no, nah, they got they got they got old right away. Yeah. yeah, I think, yeah, I mean, I, that's one thing I kind of did a little bit when I had the macro lens on the Sony, uh, when I had the Sony a7, I had the macro lens. Mm-hmm. But since then, I don't know. I mean, I think one thing I'm trying to do is, which we talked about, I think in the past is maybe, you know, working on a zine, uh, which we kind of talked about, like a little photo book. Um, so I'm doing a project, I think, just doing a project, I think simple as that. So I'm doing a bit of a project in my local neighborhood, especially with the whole, um, you know, changes. And changes and everything. I think everything. they're going to, yeah, and also the removing the, the the crossing of the railway, so that's not going to be anymore. So I'm actually it's gonna look I'm different trying to then. do like a project. Yeah, so I'm trying to do like a project of 24 to like 36 exposures, and then maybe 20 years time I can look back and what my neighbourhood used to be. So it's more towards that, and kind of sticking with, with film cameras. <laughs> what? <laughs> use film. You're timing up. You do. <laughs> so, uh, so someone just pointed out to me. And I feel really silly right now. What? But. But we've had technical issues the whole time. So it's not streaming. It is, but they couldn't hear your voice. They couldn't really hear mine. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. What it's the okay. Hell? You can hear it's it. Okay. It's, fixed. it's fixed now, and everything's good now. So shout out Jesus. to Demaziel. Pointed it out. That's like an hour. Man. Over an hour. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, over an hour. And, uh, it's all right. Hold Mik- on. Mikkel has backup audio. Yeah, I have backup audio. <laughs> come, come to think of it. Hold on, I'm sure? just gonna pause quickly my camera. Ah, oh, this is gonna mess up. <laughs> I have only one minute left on my recording, so just gonna quickly post, oh pause gosh. it, and I'm gonna get so, back to you guys. Uh, and I'm using and I'm using my phone. So oh yeah, the good thing about Sony is that you can, I can remove the memory card, and it's still on. Ha! Oh, I love Sony, Ooh. man. <laughs> I love so. I'm gonna, gonna put it. a new memory card on it. So uh. what? <laughs> Man, what the hell? Oh, this is cool, man. I'm loving it. It's all right. First and time. it's <laughs> recording First time. again. Oh, that's kidding. awesome. I love to... Sony, man. I'm not gonna... selling this camera. <laughs> I posted it. I have a lot yeah, of, I have a lot of see, questions man. about this camera. But the good thing about the Sony is, unlike other cameras like the Sony, uh, the Canon, and when you ever when you open this thing here, it's gonna stop. It's gonna turn off. It's gonna stop recording, or it's gonna stop. It's gonna turn off. This one here, while you're filming, you can if this cam- uh, memory card is gonna go full, and this one is full already, you can just remove the other card while this one is recording, and put another card there. So you can you can record uh, a lot of a lot of stuff there. 
<laughs> yeah, that's cool. So we're going to have to say everything all over again. Is all... No, 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 no. no. Uh, well, uh, we're going to have a final, <laughs> we're going to have a final. The thing is, it's just the people who are looking at it initially that had no idea, like, what yeah. the heck was Carla doing? Is he gone crazy or something? Yeah, yeah. They're like, why is he talking to himself? Is he crazy? <laughs> is he watching something else or something? Anyway. Hi, guys out there. Yeah, Twitch guys. By the way, um, Dermaziel, the guy who kindly pointed out what the issue was, um, Thanks, said hi to everyone. <laughs> yeah. Shout Thanks, out, guys. And uh, yeah. Back Hello, to... Man. Disappointed. <laughs> Look at Sean. Sean's you know, disappointed you know, now. Backup video. That, that was the whole I must say, I must say, this gets us high as well. Yeah, my Huawei um, phone is probably the most reliable. Uh, let's talk about, uh, yeah, uh, talk about photos and everything else. Because uh, uh, earlier, where was I? Damn it, that thing. It got on my, sorry, bad word. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, like, uh, yeah. I was talking about uh, Jesse Drifford earlier not storing his photos. He just deletes them and just sometimes he shares them on Instagram and everything else, his videos, I meant. But it, how are you guys, uh, your photos, do you do you mainly share them for Instagram purposes or do you, aside from my wedding photos, I'm going to take that off because uh, that's not my hobby. That's not my, I, I need to give that away. But the thing is, with regards to your personal photos, do you want to share it? Do you want to put it on Instagram, Facebook, or like Sean, do you want to print it? What is your... Uh, yeah, how do you call this? What is your uh, yeah, your, um, what outlook do you do for with that? Your photos? Yeah. <laughs> what's your, what's your, yeah. Um, look, uh, yeah, I think re- definitely for true photography, Instagram is probably the best way. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I realize once you, but Instagram is not really the best quality, isn't it? So if you want to obtain that image from Instagram again because you lose all your original images somewhere else, you're, gonna go, you're not going to get a good image, you're, you're going to have a crappy resolution. So, um, yeah. Printing it, I think doing maybe a select yeah. instead and like really good photos you like and printing it. I'm even like with the, I remember with my family photos, like with my daughter, Samantha, I've taken like 6,000 photos. I lost count. But out of all those 6,000, probably only have 200 because <laughs> everything else has been corrupted in the hard drive. So, uh. um, so I, yeah, so what I did was I printed like 100 photos on a, like a, an actual you know book itself. Um, and I think that's probably the best way to go moving forward to be honest for me how about you carlo aside from editing them all every day or something <laughs> <laughs> i, I can just go. imagine carlo like editing editing oh fuck there's something wrong with a pixel oh, delete 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 <laughs> this is this is oh, crap right. okay next photo <laughs> oh <laughs> man it's it's blurry uh an inch blurry okay delete delete I can never do that, <laughs> not in focus something not in focus <laughs> <laughs> She's yeah. not smiling. <laughs> it's not and straight. I, I haven't used I haven't used Lightroom or Photoshop for many years. I go straight to my phone and then you know, so use Snapchat. No, can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. <laughs> nah, nah. Yeah. But how do you like, how do you what do you do with your photos apart from just storing it in hard drive? I don't like um. Well, I used to post them in in Instagram, but mm. that that got boring. <laughs> um. And also, I don't like Instagram because the quality, as you said, is not yeah. it's not yeah. that good. So yeah. I actually end up post. I started posting them to Twitter, and Twitter's quality oh. is pretty good. Um, it was a bit strange because I think with Twitter you really need to, like, you really need to put effort into it. So like when I first started them, um, I've got like maybe two hundred followers within the, the first like two weeks. And then mm. I stopped posting because I got bored. <laughs> now I hardly get any. So yeah, um, I think I showed you guys um, a video. I just deleted like eight hundred gigabytes of <laughs> photos. Yeah, was, you did. Uh, every photo I've taken until now, so I pretty much got no photos at the moment. <laughs> so you don't have a backup of the good ones, or like? No, I don't believe like? in backups. Oh um, man. Memories. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm one of those guys who's OCD with backups and everything else. I back up three yeah. times. Pretty creepy me. And aside from that, like I have, I, I've, been, I've been trying to collect all my uh, files into one NAS drive that I've been working with for the past few months. Funny thing about that is, uh, like I, I was looking at all my hard drives. I have this single photo copied five or ten times in a single hard drive. 
So I was cutting them out, and I was, I was, I was deleting around two terabytes a day. Those are duplicate photos, and like. But right now I'm. I'm I'll drop it crazy. <laughs> but but right now I'm I'm trying to like drop it down like two backups. I one I just screen them as raw, and then one of them is organized. And the hardest thing now is that I'm I'm doing I'm I'm copying a, a lot of videos, so they they're all snug up. But but the thing is. Whenever I take photos, uh, I usually back them up. I mostly don't delete unless needed. And stop showing off, Sean. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I don't delete them. But the thing is, when I do Instagram uploads, it's it's the funny thing is some we we were, were were looking into we're thinking about quality and posting the photos. That the first main thing we think about is posting a photo should look good when we post it. Then later on, I wouldn't have a good quality photo there oh, and I wouldn't have a backup of good quality so what's what's happening with me now is that I edit a photo I export it on the highest quality put it on Instagram and then sometimes Instagram posts it on my Facebook but if they're really good photos I separately upload them on Facebook because uh, it's a bit higher quality <laughs> and every time every time <laughs> yeah and every time I do that I have this app on my phone and my, my iPad and everything else Whenever I upload a photo on Instagram and I'm in the field, I upload it to my uh, cloud drive. So I have this specific drive who has my Instagram photos that are edited, that are there. So like that's how OCD I am with files. And that's pretty scary, man. That's pretty scary. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to take I, a photo and put it on my Instagram. <laughs> I, need, I need the best picture, man. <laughs> My God. <laughs> oh man. Uh, okay, hilarious. let's talk about uh, what is the best thing you want to improve in your photography. What's the what's the only thing that you can improve? If you can choose only one thing that you can improve, it's not the same as what you want to redo, but what you can improve. Yeah. So for, for me, I think that's one reason why I like the SLRs is when I was in the when I was using the Nikons or the Canons or whatever, I I could expose because I shoot manual, so I, I was able to expose probably within a half a stop from the correct exposure. Then since shooting mirrorless, I think I've depended on the EVF in the screen, which I mm -hmm. find that's definitely reduced oh, color. I can't hear him. Um, it's reduced. Sorry, my sorry, I was overall. talking to the chat. Okay. But yeah, so shooting with, with mirrorless, I find that's definitely reduced my overall, I think, I don't know, performance or yeah. general knowledge of photography. So I always relied on that. So yeah. that's why I like going back to like the Nikon D700. I can actually get used to learning how to expose correctly, which I miss. Yeah, uh, I really hated, I still hate them. Some, I hate it sometimes. I'm, I'm using the Sonys. And the uh, thing with uh, EVF is, talking about EVF, uh, you, tr you, you see things... The way it's taken, but you're not looking at the, you're not really looking at the values there. If somebody's gonna hand you a film camera and you're not gonna like what value, like when I'm when I'm shooting with Canon before, I look at the I look at this the meter, but I don't put it exactly zero. I, like I look at the meter and I know oh, if I'm gonna take this, this is approximately the light I'm taking. But right now you're in a mirrorless, it's different. Mm. And uh, also, I didn't like the resolution. It's crappy. I have the A9, and it's so annoying. Yeah, it's me being stupid. Anyway, the A9s annoy annoyed me because the thing is, yeah, I do street also, and I do quick photos in weddings. Mm. And I thought this is the fastest camera, but whenever, like, everything's here, and when I put my eye here, it takes a second for it to turn on, like, split second to turn on the screen, and it takes a split second for the focus point to come out. So if I see a bride walking, I put it in my eye and I keep on pressing this, hoping that the focus point is going to come out. So that's yeah, what's annoying me with uh, uh, with this uh, mirrorless in my line of work. But uh, yeah, like everybody else, you can just learn from it and move around it. And yeah. just do the best out of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And like with the film, like I'll, I'll be like with the Nikons and my the range finders I got, they don't have any meter. So the only way to learn is I I've been using Sony sixteen or you know using That's that tough man. Sony sixteen. Uh, Carlos gonna it. hate that. I, I hated it. it. Carlos gonna hate that. I, I actually love it to be honest. Um yeah, I find that's definitely made me enjoy it a bit. It made me actually think about exposure to a point. So Yeah. How about you, Carlos? Yeah, the thing with 
with going mirrorless is we've got the advantage of showing the live histogram. No, <laughs> 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 nah, don't use that. I don't, <laughs> I don't use that. I don't use that. I'm sorry. We, we're supposed to use that, Sean, but I'm not using it. And anyway, so, so are you. What, once you learn how to use the, the histogram, you can't go back. It's, yeah. It's just that good. Yeah. So, or, Sean, when you're shooting street, you can use the histogram and it's going to get you good composition. <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 I think that's right. I hate the histogram. Yeah, no, I hate the um, histogram. I find, I think what they said is you kind of have to have a, kind of like a bell shape. Yeah. I, I reckon that's not right because that's the reason why you shoot to kind of change the way you want the exposure to look like. You want to, you know, underexpose. Well, I've exposed, so you, you, know, you make choices. That made me question because uh, I was shooting, uh, I was looking at the photo. I can see that the face was good, properly exposed, but the background was blown out. I didn't care about the background. I look at the mm. the histogram. Oh, shit, crappy mm. histogram. What should I do? Should I follow my heart and just expose it this way or should I follow the histogram? histogram? I was like, I, I, I stopped that. I stopped. I mean, it's, it's preventing me to shoot. <laughs> I look at it like my eyes go around the screen and then go to the side and histogram. Histogram. Oh shit! Should I should? should, should. It's funny. Uh, it doesn't have well, to follow the curve. You just need to make sure it's yeah. not clipped. Yeah, it's it's it was clipped, but you know when it, it's fully backlit and it's blowing out the background, and you can see only one person who's a bit dark in the middle, and his backlit, and his face is so dark. And you try to get the exposure of the face, you fix it, and then the, the Instagram goes crazy. And like, I want to kill myself now. <laughs> nah. Like, look at this one. My 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 setup right now. The Instagram would look like uh, the histogram would look like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's fine as long as it's not clipped. It's okay. <laughs> mm. Nah. Well, I think it depends nah. also on what you're shooting. If, you, if you're shooting like models or people, yes, I think. But when I like so when I shoot street, I don't really care too much about whether. They, completely dark or so on like i'm trying to expose one part like for example one half of the frame is dark and then the other half it's light because i want that little part to be exposed i think i think that's fine but it's more towards what you like you know what you're wanting out of the image rather than what other people think about the image i think you know i think you know when you especially when you get a critique you know we used to have these you know some old fellow friends who you know <laughs> they get some little you know gets a critique i think critique is always going to be something that will help us in general but if you get a bad critique or feedback, I think just you know learn from it and you know. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, no, it is your shot though. So if you want to, yeah, it's your shot. It is your shot. If you want to critique, crit take critique, take it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, for sure. Mate. Uh, so in know. my early years of photography, I went to like Philippine, uh, Philippines. Was it DP review? No, it was it DP? Oh, it was this DP photography, <laughs> not DP review, but there was this photography uh, thing in the Philippines. It was so prestigious. And whenever you go there, you want to just uh, like, you know, usual hey, sharing my photo and you share your photo and you see this vultures just trying to kill you and they want to stab <laughs> you in the back. Like, what the heck? Is that a photo? You doesn't even like uh, that was that was uh, how it was for me then. And like, mm. if I don't want to get uh, if I don't want to get butchered there, I don't want to post a photo of anything. I just want to watch. But uh it may be learned, but some some people like think it's like, yeah, are you attacking me? I'm just posting a photo. And you're like, I, I hate that way. Mm. Like, yeah, but uh, yeah, like it's how you want your photo to be. Well, yeah. fine, but uh, if your photo is really crappy and you just want to justify it, that's another thing. <laughs> I've seen yeah. some, I've seen some really really crappy photo like. Yeah, it's 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 in my eyes. Not a photographer. It's an eye of beholder, but everything. But the photos really, really crappy, man. Come on. If it's crooked or someone, yeah, I think. Yo, my mate, but I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't take that. <laughs> it's not good content. <laughs> good. Yeah. But is it cinematic? It is cinematic. Sean, you're gonna get I, yourself hooked with that. I just, I just realized. Huh? There's yours is street street apertures and there's someone else that's just street aperture. Yeah, no, I wanted that one initially, but that was already taken. Ah, <laughs> uh, you, you want you want to buy that? You want to buy that? Uh, it's tough, like I already have a mine has an underscore. I think that's better in general. Because I had to look at it and I was like, when did Sean get a Lamborghini? He got a Lambo and didn't tell me. <laughs> oh, he oh, did. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, hold on. You want to watch us on Twitch? We're streaming live on Twitch. It's not on Facebook. I'm just told Laura that we're streaming. We're streaming live. Hi, Laura. Hi, Laura. 
Okay, hold on. I'll just send you the link. Are you serious? Oh man, more pressure now. <laughs> it's okay, Sean. <laughs> uh, I'll send her the link. Oh uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I think I have her. Yeah, oh, he, he's gonna wanna... be uh, yeah. there streaming online. Oh, why uh, I think Carlos sending you the link. Talk... But why would Laura be interested in talk guys talking about cameras? You know, why especially how expensive huh. they are. Uh, no, it's just to audit. <laughs> Just kidding, Sean. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's so like, you know. I think this other camera is dead already. Know. I'm going to try to record it again. Hey, what do we, if Laura's here, why don't we talk about how much our cameras really cost? I won't do it. <laughs> it's going out live anyway, Sean. In, yeah, fa it's, in it's, Facebook it's, in a few days after I, I cut up the. Yeah. The <laughs> nah. Uh, yeah, oh, one more thing. Uh, if you meet a new photographer like a newbie, like, yeah, you're, you're the great Street Apertures guy. What do I need to do? What can you tell that guy? How can you, how can you give an advice to a newborn photographer? Newborn, what the fuck? A new photographer. <laughs> Not a newborn. <laughs> I, I, I really wanted to say that. <laughs> I just wanted to say that, man. A, a newbie, a newbie. Yeah. Um, I think it would be the same thing in a way. I mean, there's a few things. I mean, you said one, but I think a few for me would definitely be get to know your camera, um, learn how to expose correctly. Let me cut that. Let me cut that first. Okay. Yeah. That, that, uh, what can you tell, say to that person? And if they're, most of the time they ask, what's the best camera? How do you get, how do you buy the, the best camera? I'm going to add that on there. That way. Do they, do they have a camera already or they're planning to buy one? They're planning to buy one. But yeah, go with the first question first. I just was just so excited with that question, man. Because, you know, whenever uh, cameras, buying new cameras, it's always Sean. Uh, like... <laughs> no, more, no more, man. Oh, <laughs> oh it's not. <laughs> no, 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 no I just kidding. All, I, buy, I buy old cameras, not new cameras. Oh, okay. So, yeah, go ahead, Sean. Sorry about interrupting. Um, I don't know. Like, I think for me, well, first of all, yeah, if they had a camera already, I'd pretty much say the camera they've got right now is probably the best camera to use. And get to know, learn the exposure, learn how to expose correctly. Don't rely on auto. I mean, auto, you know, aperture mode is, uh, aperture priority is always great and so on, but it's good to know how to expose correctly. And yeah, just try and avoid the, the, you know, that phase we all go through of buying and selling and buying and selling, because that's not going to make the camera your, your. Take, it from, us. take it, from um, us. take it from us. Take it from us. Take it from us. Take it from us. We regretted it. Okay. I've regretted it. And uh, if I could redo mine, I would probably, that's the advice I'd give. If they get a new camera, I think definitely DSLR would probably be the option. The reason being is you you don't have to rely on, on an EV, EVF. You learn how to expose correctly. I think that's the best way for me. Mm. <laughs> I'm listening, man. You're the, you're the guy who got me. No, man, never mind. <laughs> Lee. When I met you, you were already had you already had a good. I was a gearhead when when you met me uh, when you met me, but whenever when I just exposed you to more. When, when I when I learned that you had tried all the cameras, that was like this guy's a guru. <laughs> I should be his friend. I, That's I still why. Remember, I, I still remember in order the cameras I had. Ah oh, damn so it! Be quickly list them for us. Yeah, quick. Should I really? <laughs> quick rundown. I, I want, I, I want to mention the lens, okay? I want to mention the lens because that's yeah. a bit of a yeah, the lens is like, um, um, just the body. So, listen, so Olympus EP one, then a Sony A thirty, then I went, and then I wanted Nikon. So I ended up getting a Nikon, a Nikon D fifty, really old camera. D fifty, you still have that? Yeah, that was guru. Yeah. Well, and then I went to a Nik. So that only lasted a few a month or so. Then I went to a Nikon D ninety, and then I went to a Nikon D three hundred. Mm. Okay. Then you know what? Let's go Canon. So I got a Canon 5D Mark One, and what annoyed me about that is I take a photo. I was like, is this a pro camera? Look at the LCD screen. It's, it's crap. Crappy. Then I, yeah. But I realized it's not crap. It's just a the color is good. Yeah. Yeah. So then I got a Mark Two, and that's where, well, that's where I bought the 85 1.4, 1.2, with a 100 mil 2.8L, with a 24 one, 2470, all within a week. I don't want to. Week. I don't want to continue from there. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I don't know what happened. To... No, never mind. Um, then I went. Then I. Then that's when I lost it all. <laughs> you just have to mention that, man. That hurts. The eighty-five. Losing the. Oh, okay. 
Go back. No, no, no. no. I saw I saw that. The one I lost was the 24, 24 and the 100 one. And the 580EX flash. Mm. That was already a bit, a bit of money. Already a flash. Then I went, yeah. So then I went, went Nikon. I went Nikon D700, what I've always wanted. Really good camera. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're not sponsored, then, right? Yeah. You're not sponsored. No, definitely not. <laughs> no. But then after that, I went a D3, you know, the ultimate D3. I think that was excellent. I had that. That was probably one of my longest cameras I had. Maybe three, four months initially. Um, D3, yeah. <laughs> yeah you love the D3, yeah. man. Yeah. But then after that, I sold all that. I went, um, I wanted to go light. So I bought the, oh, actually, no, I bought the DF brand new in DigiDirect. When, that's when I met, um, what's his name again? Brad. 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 <laughs> he made, he gave me a good deal. Our sponsor. Yeah, he's the best deal. He's the best deal in town. Everybody so, knows him. Like. Yeah. So the good thing about the DF is, I bought that and I only lasted a month and a half. <laughs> then I swapped. <laughs> then I swapped it with a guy who had, who had a D eight hundred brand new. So we swapped. Yeah, swapped. I remember that. I kept. Yeah, I kept it for a month again. And then I sold that D eight hundred. <laughs> this was peak <laughs> John. Yeah. That was there was a time he was showing off. Like yeah, I can do this. Yeah, I can just I'll, juggle I'll, cameras, I'll, man. I'm like you, you, you're nothing. You're nothing. <laughs> But then I went, back, I went back to Brad, and then I bought the, the Fuji Film XT1. That was, that was you bought it brand new from Brad? Yeah. Oh, I did know. Oh. Yeah. So, I was like, this was before I introduced you to him. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, but then that lasted again, like, maybe another two, three months. And then I thought I want to go back to a DF. So I looked it up on YouTube. I found a guy in I think in Hollywood. I think it is. Mm-hmm. Then I, I bought. I bought it from him, then when I met him, he goes, hey, dude, man, you're the one we swapped the camera with. <laughs> so oh, I yeah, I remember that one. Buy, yeah, I managed to buy my DF again, but initially when I got the camera for 3K, 3 whatever. Yeah, we didn't get to talk I about pricing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> say, I, saw... I got it cheaper this time. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Uh... No, no. So the deal was, when I swapped his D800, I sold his D800 for 3K or 3, whatever, three No pricing, half. man, then no, then no got... pricing. He's he's <laughs> watching <laughs> now. <laughs> that <laughs> guy. <laughs> No, the, 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 when I got the DF, I only got it back a 1.8, which was like maybe 1,000 extra shots. That's down. rude, so, Sean. I, <laughs> I keep on doing that. I'm so scared to talk about no, things no. like that. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, he wanted, because he was going to go in Leica, you know, film camera. So. That's the reason I, why I don't, I don't sell a lot of stuff to my mates, because uh, I do that. <laughs> I changed yes, the pricing. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so then uh, after the, I went back to the DF, that, again, that lasted maybe three or four months. Um, then I swapped it because I wanted to go back to a 300. <laughs> Can you believe it? I believe I went, it. I got a Typical D-800 Sean. Yeah. Typical then, Sean. It's like <laughs> saying, it's like saying like uh, uh, this, this uh, chubby guy goes hungry all the time. It's like typical hungry, typical uh chubby guy who gets hungry like it's typical sean whenever you talk about cameras typical sean like that yeah that was pretty bad influence wasn't it no yeah, not really the D800, the, so when i swapped it with the d100b i was going in sunbury he then he messaged me like three months later the d the, the df actually the shutter failed and it was like only two th- twenty thousand shutter count so just my if i kept that man no nah, i didn't i uh, you didn't this do. This is why I care about the shutter cat. <laughs> I don't care. So, so I saw the T eight hundred, then went went Canon. I got the, the Canon five D Mark three, which only lasted a couple of weeks. I wonder what happened to the five D Mark three. I think some guy bought it from you. Oh, was that me? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I really love the camera, man. I didn't want to sell it then. But... Yeah, it's a good camera. Oh, yeah. I remember. Yeah. When I got that camera, I got another camera which was a 5D also. It was really bad. It was like 80 shutters counts, really ugly, but yours was looking fine. I used your, I think I sold your 5D last. That was the last one that I sold. I sold it for 1800 and it had a shutter count of 130. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. I remember when I gave it to It you, was like, really bad. It was really bad, but the, I, I told Guy, this is the shutter count, this is how it looks. I can see the rubbers are peeling. He bought it. And I didn't want to sell it that time because, you know, when somebody really likes it, you don't want to sell it. This guy yeah. thinks this is worth something. I don't want to sell it to him, something like that. But yeah, it was the last Canon thingy I have. Yeah. yeah. But I think Canon. after that, like I said, I went a few times in Fuji's. I got the Fuji you know, XC, XC1, XC2, 
to execute. I remember your XT1. Yeah. You lent it to me. Oh, man. Yeah. It's good. What X100, X100, what's the one? X100T. X100 you like the X-Pros. X100F. Yeah, X-Pros, man. You know, next one is X-Pro2 and X-Pro2 we need to get. Uh, I think one of my favorite was a Sony RX1. Uh, I think that was one of my favorite. 100, yeah. RX100. Uh, RX1R. Uh, uh, RX1, yeah. yeah. The 35 mil oh, yeah. F2. Oh, I man. still have your lens cap. Camera guru. Yeah, <laughs> that was like hundred something bucks if we get on eBay. So. <laughs> Camera guru, man. Yeah, but yeah. So uh, like I said, there's a lot more which I mentioned, but yeah. So th- take it from me. Stick with one camera. <laughs> Simple as that. Your 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 wallet will be more happier. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you ever count how many you've had in total? Uh, well, I, I like the D seven hundred. I bought it four or five times. And the, D, the D3, the D3, the D3, I bought it twice. Camera guru. So, I don't know. Man. This, this thing you call true love. <laughs> Soulmate and cameras. Yeah. You really like that, Sean. And then, just about the, and then all the film cameras. Uh, uh, film cameras, like, like okay. Let's, let's not go there. Let's, that, will be, that will be on the next show or something. Yeah. And I, I was thinking of getting one of those TLR medium formats. For like, yeah. Oh, come on. Stop it, <laughs> No more. Stop it. Nah, I'm done, man. I'm done. So. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um. So I think who else? Carlo, what would you want to say to a newbie? Like, what's your words of wisdom? <laughs> words of wisdom. Oh man. Words of wisdom. Come on. Make sure it's in focus. <laughs> <laughs> Nyar, take your time. Take off. Don't take the lens cap off. Yeah, like, take the um, lens cap off. <laughs> yeah. Let lens cap like, off. When you take the photo. Breathe yeah. in deep uh, as you oh, press man. it down. Breathe out. So five seconds in, out. <laughs> don't <Man>. fart. <laughs> don't fart. It introduces <laughs> shock. Carla, you'll be hopeless in street photos, man. If you can breathe, breathe out. If you're gonna take so a burst photo, you're gonna be like longer. breathing heavily, man. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, have I'll, a good I'll, tripod. I'll be... That's really important. Good tripod. <laughs> you're all you're doing is you're exposing them to more hardware, man. So you know, just take it easy. You know, they don't need the tripod straight away. <laughs> yeah, uh, if, if, you, uh, if you they're do, gonna get you if, if you if you want to do landscape, you need a good tripod. So mm. buy that with your camera <laughs> and the lens. What if uh, what if uh, like somebody's like, hey, hey, sir, Carlos, sir, uh. I saw your photos and uh, what's the best camera to start with? Is it this camera or is it is it a Sony or is it a Nikon or just a ZV-1? What's the best no. camera? What? Which one? ESR. ZV-1? ZV-1. It's it. like the RX100. ESR. Oh, okay. <laughs> ESR. <laughs> no, no, sorry. EOS R5. R5. <laughs> Yeah, like, don't good. even think about it. Just go and get it. Pretty good focusing. Yeah, go go to um DG Direct. It's at Elizabeth. Look for Brad or Montreal Elizabeth Street in Melbourne. Yeah, and we're not Keep sponsored. Brad or Mark. We're not. <laughs> They'll sponsored. give you a good deal. Yeah. <laughs> totally not sponsored. Look for Brad if he's not around. Look for Mark. If you're gonna call, look for them. I hope they're not gonna be a lot of calls there. But uh, yeah, they're good. They, they give you advice. Like, mm. if you buy this, you can buy that one later. So you should buy this. Something like that. Uh, something. <laughs> it's not... so with it, with it, going back to the newbie topic, um, we were all once newbies. What was one of your most embarrassing style of shooting or, like, photos? Cool, cool. Uh, do you want to start off? No, no. H, H, HDR. Oh. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. I tried it, man. <laughs> I, try... I was looking at... Well, who who was that famous photographer before who had HDR style? It was good. It was like cartoon like. I tried it and like the colors were like green. What the? Oh, f- I forgot his name. I never I never liked uh, HDR. It was he I was so that, famous then with his photos like uh, yeah because it was just Trey, those times when I, I was following Jack Arias with a strobing thing. I stopped strobing and it was this other guy I forgot. Trey Radcliffe. I forgot man. That's his name. <laughs> no. Let me see. Let me just look for it. Uh, it it's freaking Trey Trey one What's the name again? Trey Radcliffe. Let me see. I think the other one would be also um, extreme, you know, just doing the, I can't say the word, 
Vigil team. I can't. I'm stuttering. No, not that guy. The brat. That bad guy. (laughs) But yeah, HDR, man. You'd go full on, like 100%. You know, you'd make it all 100%. So it's all colorful, you know. I forgot who's that guy. But anyway, we'll just talk it another day. But yeah, like, yeah, different colors. And then. Yeah, HDR. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is. It doesn't. It didn't work for me because the HDR you need to have uh, uh, not non shallow depth of field. I love shallow depth of field. So like, whenever I edit HDR, it melts. The color to melt the background. It's like, ugh, ugh. no, no, no. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, you call it? The worst thing I had was a uh, Nick software. Which Nick. Oh. Nick software, you know the presets. There was presets, uh, N I K software, and uh, I was doing weddings, and I do this glamour glow, and everything's gonna glow, and skin softening shit. I can even, I can even, I, I don't know. I can't flash the photos here, and oh, maybe I can. Ah uh, no, it's too much work. I'll prepare it, it next time. Was it? Was it around Philippines when you were in Philippines? I was in the Philippines, and I was shooting weddings, and yeah, glamour glow, like. Everything's gonna glow like it's gonna be blurred out and then, yeah. Is that what the guys <laughs> want? Creepy. Yeah. It's really bad, man. Yeah. That's funny. How about you, color? Yeah, I have to say the same. It's HDR. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it was a star back then. For a uh, HDR, but it's not. I, I deleted. Them. <laughs> it's. I think it's one of those embarrassing photos. Where you're yeah, like d- delete. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. Another and, span of the works. Um if you had to choose one feature in your camera, okay, whether it's low like, like one point one you know, low aperture, really good bokeh, or high resolution, ISO, or four K or whatever, six K, what would it be? Ah, that's not that's not that's video, so let's talk about photo this time. Four K is not yeah. yeah. So what's the so best what's thing? What's most important to you? Low ISO, high, um, <laughs> I don't know what Carl was gonna say. Or um, high dyna- dynamic range, or you know, bokeh. But oh, look, that's a lens that does it. But still, the camera has some sort of, you know, like if you use crop sensors or full sensor, full frame, definitely the bokeh will change a little bit. The better feel. But what would be the main thing for you? As for me, like uh, first things first, uh, I'm really uh, first thing I can think of is colors. Like if I get good colors, I get good photos. But that's subjective. You can always fix the colors, no matter. How hmm. yellow, how how Sony-ish it is, how Nikon green. No, don't kill me, guys. <laughs> Nikon green it is. You can always change the color, so that that's subjective. But uh, I'd go for low light. If it's good in low light, I'm sold for it. How about you, Carlo? Okay. I'd go with dynamic range. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> okay. Now, dynamic range and resolution. Uh, I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's it's, it's any feet, so it doesn't, it doesn't have to be that. So I'll probably say more ergonomics. Um, ergonomics, and then probably oh yeah. So like with the fill with the Fujis, you know, you got the dials, and I actually use the dials. So I right, goes the base plate. <laughs> I'm waiting for the base plate. Oh, yeah, the base ergonomics. Plate, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I knew it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And I'm gonna get the um, the thumb rest too, which is I'm waiting for for ages. Um, yep. And the red oh, cutter. Yeah. Oh I, yeah. I, I made it all black. So it's all black, and I actually put it put all the I put the gaffer tape. Gaffer tape, so yeah. The, Ergonomics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think other than that, would probably be ISO. Yeah, ISO. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One of the things I got uh, regards to me is if somebody asks me what's the best camera to buy for a newbie, uh, most of the times I tell people to buy Fuji before. I tell them like buy Fuji because I love the colors. You're going to shoot, you're going to be shooting JPEG. So you just get the Fuji. But now things changed. Things. St- Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, Space. things changed because I, like, I, I try yeah. to stay, I, st- <laughs> I try to stay away from uh, brands because I'm not so, sponsored. Yeah. But uh, other than that, like uh, most of the times I tell people like, go to a camera store, hold Fuji. a camera, like ergonomics. If you hold a camera, and you like don't this, like how like it that. feels in your hand, don't buy the camera. That's shit. Because I, like, uh, I, I started with a, a Nikon D40 as my first DSLR, I think. And when I touch it, it's like, you can feel the plastic. It's thick. It's so strong. When you touch the 
this uh, the Canon 550D. It's like plasticky thing, toy camera, and they're yeah. at par. So when when I touch the camera, like oh, this is this feels sturdy, this feels good. I'm gonna enjoy this camera. I'm gonna carry this every day. But if you have this camera like this Sony, and without this base plate, it's gonna be holding this. It's gonna hurt my hand. I really didn't like it till I got this base plate. I wasn't. I didn't shift Sony. So yeah, I believe ergonomics does a lot. And well, yeah, when you uh, tell people when you buy a camera, hold it. If it feels good in your hand, that's a good camera for you. Take a photo of it, out of it. If the initial photo you enjoy the colors, that's your camera. You don't have to edit anything. You don't have to worry about the other specs. Because most people are like, hey, this is like the resolution and everything else. This one looks smaller, a small camera. But yeah, if you don't like holding the camera, you're not gonna hold it. You're not gonna touch that camera. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, in saying that, uh, one thing I read, and this, this could um, link to you. Um, Me. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so scared. Ca so ca cannons are heard. A lot of women like cannons because it suits the hand of, of, of a lady. Oh. Uh, does it does, oh, it, does it feel like man. something else? <laughs> no, no. I'm like, this one has that grip, you know? <laughs> that grip. <laughs> Oh man! And it has more manly feel. Manly <laughs> feel. Oh, come on, Sean. Yeah. Come on. Come on, like, come on the Kids are watching, man. Hey, <laughs> we, we've got a question from chat. What? What's a good camera to have exactly thirty-seven dead pixels? What? Thirty-seven <laughs> dead pixels. Well, I'll start. So I'd probably say any film camera because you won't have any dead pixels. I think you'll probably have a more. No, he wants dead sport. pixels. Oh, you want get the... an Olympus. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Sony. I don't know. Hey, Sony. Oh. Carlo. Laura said yeah. you have a cool background. Uh, thank you, Laura. <laughs> I was preparing it downstairs, but I was... Yeah, excuses. But anyway... <laughs> Mikhail's going to be getting some LED lights. I am so sorry. <laughs> I, wanted, I, wanted, I wanted it to be darker, and I even have a light here, but later on, I just uh, I can't be bothered. I'm just going to come up here. I'd... Yeah, yeah, it's about it's all it's all about the content, I think. But yeah, I like the background. I like that effect. Yeah, for sure. Listen, I'm just using my phone. You know, it's so much and no technical issues compared to you. Guys. I was testing it last night. You know, my I posted some live feeds on my Facebook and everything. I was testing it last night, and uh, yeah, I learned a lot. I learned a lot, and this is not what I learned. This is a different set. <laughs> and last minute, it changed. So like, yeah, it's all good. Uh, yeah. Yep. So one thing, one thing. What made you guys go into photography? Like, was it maybe did your dad have a camera which sort of kind yep. of like a hand me down? Was that I had a bit? dream. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Sean, you hit a nerve. You just hit a nerve, man. <laughs> well, uh, I had a dream. I had a camera, and I didn't have one, so I bought one. <laughs> uh. No, That's as hilarious. as for me, uh, my 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 dad was the one who shoot, who does shoot on family occasions. He has this film okay. camera, and he looked cool doing that. He used to have a, a the Yashica camera, which is a weird film. I still have it back in the Philippines. And then, camera, yeah, and he had the Minolta, which was a small camera. And every time he take photos, he's the he's the cool one because whenever we have parties, okay, everybody gather in one side, and my dad's gonna take photos. And that oh, that's so cool. I want to take photos also. But the film's yeah. so expensive. The film's so mm. expensive. And when I went to school, I took photos of my friends. And then they won copies of the photo. So I had to like, it's, it's, I felt like I wasn't my dad taking photos of them. But uh, mm. I had to sell the, I had to sell <laughs> the copies because they were expensive. But like, I don't know, how many, so how many, like, yeah, they, they cost something in the Philippines. I have to print five of these shots and I have to look at the negatives and everything. So yeah, I kept on, kept on enjoying the camera and taking photos but uh yeah eventually everything changed when i wanted more uh like uh, yeah I, I wanted to take photos of everything and i had a I had a uh, when, when digital came it was good but i wanted more so i wanted lenses so i went to wedding that's when everything gets messed up and you get to buy a lot of things i'm looking down now this is bad content <laughs> <laughs> Listen, yeah, but I think it's a good thing though. I mean, look, like I said, if you were exposed to, you know, with your dad having a camera, I mean, just imagine you wouldn't be into this. Yeah, this, like um, you know, this hobby. 
Oh. So you want to have me, me color, you know? I'll just have this phone here. I'm going to take photos of you guys in the phone. That will be quick. Well, no, no. Like, what I was trying to say is if you didn't go to photography, you would have met some cool guys like me and Carlos. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're that good. I remember that, uh, yeah, the, the coolest guy I met was uh, back in Burke Street. He was bringing this 7200 lens, showing off that lens. Yeah, yeah And uh, yeah, I was shooting it. It was so cool. His name was Sean. <laughs> there were three okay. models then. Three models. <laughs> And well, yeah. What's the name of that? Yeah. Art Art de Jour. Art de Jour. Yeah. Uh, I don't I forgot about that. <laughs> I reckon would have looked old. Like I look at the models. I still cool. follow the, some of the models, and uh, I look at one. Uh, shouldn't be saying this, but she looked different from before. But yeah, that's it. I was that was our history <laughs> with that well, previous group. Years ago, man. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. I was like, I was well, like. I think it's good. Probably I didn't like that because when I got there, I was like, okay, I'm gonna just want to enjoy and shoot. And then when I got there, like everybody's looking at me like. I was shooting and then everybody was looking, what do we do now? <laughs> like people were looking at me like, oh shit, should I do, this? okay. I'm, I, I'm also a newbie, guys. <laughs> like, but I, I just want to get things done. I was just going to get things organized and shoot and then yeah. go on with it. But people were like, like, scra- like, I don't know, they were like trying to get their shot and they, they, don't, they mm. didn't know what to do. Nothing was told to them and everything. So yeah, it's like free, free model shot, but it's a good thing I met th- two guys and ended up making the three amigos. Three amigos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, what is that? No, I met you guys. I got you guys, you know. Shawnee, Carly, and Mickey. Guys. Huh? <laughs> what? What was that, Sean? And, you know, with that photography, you know, meeting you guys and, you know, I got you guys a job where I worked and I left you guys. Yeah. Okay. Good job, Sean. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Typical Sean. <laughs> But I think well, during that time with the shoot, um, Miguel, you were using the Canon 5D Mark II, and I think you had a Sigma 50mm? I Sigma, uh, yeah, I had two of them. Yeah. Sigma 50mm. Oh, I was shooting a wedding good, once, good and I dropped the other one. And the one I gave to you, I gave you that lens, and you sold it. Yeah. Yeah. So I had two Sigma 50 1.4, the old non art version. I dropped one in a wedding. And then I used the other. Everybody was like, "Oh!" Then I took another camera from the car. Like, "Whoa! You have the same lens in your car. That's cool." I just really love that lens. And I I tried to fix the mount and give it to Sean. Sean was so happy. After a month or two, he sold it. Good job, Sean. <laughs> I could sell that thing. I was like, oh, Sean, boy, just get man. it. Have, use it. Use it to jam your door. Just put it aside. Everything. Just paperweight or anything. You could use that lens. He sold it. Good guy. Yeah. <laughs> man, you could sell anything. Man. I think I would have, I'm not sure what I got next with that. Possibly the Sigma 50 mil, the art lens, 1.4, I think it was. Oh, this, so, did this... we all had the Sigma at the time? Because I had the Sigma 51.4 as well at the time. But yeah, it was it's the, the cheapest version. cool lens. And yeah. <laughs> what I like about it is the bokeh. Let's talk about the technical terms here. The bokeh was not like... Uh, the OEM ones, they're not contrasty and they melt. And uh, yeah, they melt. They just melt. Oh, one more thing, John. I'm, I'm just going to go back back up with one topic here. I'm, I'm going to burp. Hold on. <laughs> man, you're live, man. Come on. A lot of air coming out, man. <laughs> anyway, uh, you're into photography, uh, street photography. What made you start street and when did you start that? What made you go to that? I started it when I started working in the city, to be to be honest. And my first and one of my old jobs where I got you guys a job there. So I think <laughs> yeah, it just I started off shooting with my with my phone and I was just I was never Ooh, phone videos. shots. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was and yeah, as you can tell it's pretty obvious. So, you did you yeah, did yeah, show think, us those photos, Sean. What are those photos? Nah, it was strictly <laughs> straight, not about people, so I didn't say anything. Yeah, so I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> no. I, I don't try yeah. I tr- during that time, I was more taking photos of structural you know, buildings mm-hmm. with people there, but not really based on you know, street photography. I think I started building that up a bit more when I started going with the GR and I think I, when I had the Sony RX100. But yeah, I think just getting going into the city, something a bit more, you know, more atmosphere, a bit of a different atmosphere, I think that kind of helped me build up my street photography. Yeah. Um, if I wasn't working the city, for more like yeah, if you're working at Coles or somewhere, you'd be taking photos of meat, <laughs> four clips. 
Well, that's right. I don't know. I mean, I mean, that's still yeah. So I think Street Fighter Three doesn't really have to be in the street. I think it can be anywhere. So yeah, um, I agree with that. On the screen, so but I, I can definitely bring my camera out cold. So take that in. I, take photos. It's still interesting. You know, there's a subject there. I think that's the most important thing. But I think if I have to choose a genre of cam of photography, definitely street would probably be my main one. I can say well, that's why. if if you're pla- if you if you're planning to like uh, monetize your photography, uh, that's so cool. Monetize your photography. Uh, I'd say you really you'd really do good with uh, family photos and kids. And I, I yeah, miss yeah. those photos, man. The kids yeah, has no, grown bigger. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't um, since getting better, you know, more newer cameras. I've actually been shooting with that with everyone. I think I think they're kind of over me. Camera, I, think. I know. <laughs> Dad, stop! <laughs> right, but, yeah. I have to, yeah, I have to drag them, and then by the time I drag them somewhere, um, yeah, they're not in a, ha- you know, their face is not that pleasant. So I think I'm trying to look more <laughs> candid photos than uh-huh. anything else. Yeah, so yeah, I think look, family would be good, but I just I wouldn't enjoy client, dealing with clients. Uh, that's why I don't know how you guys how you did weddings. I I'm dealing with the clients. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, wedding, weddings. I think that would be the most sad part for me. Is yeah, the negative thing is just having to deal with the client and then you know, try to perform. It's their it's funny because uh, the thing that the thing with weddings is that I don't enjoy it's uh my enjoy uh, yeah like I enjoy taking photos during weddings but uh, most of the times I enjoy uh connecting with people in weddings mm-hmm. like talking to them, making them yeah. them feel fine and taking the photo and like documenting. Mm-hmm. So it's more like a, a documentary for me, but uh, yeah. there are things that you need to do. Photography-wise, like if you, there's some photos in weddings that you need to take, but you don't want to take, like the church and it's crappy church, and you just take a photo. You just need to document that one. So yeah, yeah it's it's kind of different. So like at mm. this point, wedding for me has become work. So mm. it's not enjoyable unless if yeah if if I if I shoot a street, that'll be not work. That'll be f- trying yeah. to make something out and yeah that's different that's that's how it goes like before i, had, I got a job I, I was around the city taking uh, street photos and it's it's a it's like relax it's like a hobby then when you know, when i talk about wedding photography yeah especially when i'm shooting alone it's work and it's not fun it's just yeah, the food's good sure. the food's good <laughs> well, i think i think that's one of the main things that I'm like if, you, if you're going out there to shoot when you're just for money i mean yes it is a job but in a way you have to kind of you have to enjoy it, it. So, yeah yeah if you don't you're gonna just you know it's gonna affect the way you shoot too. yeah so, exactly yeah. yeah i remember one guy who shot with me uh we were having a break we we're gonna eat and i told him to stop shooting man stop shooting and his name started with the letter s and he kept on shooting he kept on shooting with his 2470 hey man sit down come on sit down and like, it's okay we don't need that photo i'm gonna delete those photos. he keep on shooting his name was sean oh yeah. was that you <laughs> <laughs> it was like yeah he he was he was up his feet and he just wanted to shoot yeah and uh, yeah, I, I, you, you remember the time when when the landscape fell in that silent oh, church yes, i remember that yeah uh, we were shooting wedding carla and then my landscape fell we were in the altar and it was so quiet in the altar and <laughs> uh, my landscape made a sound i didn't run for it i would just close my eyes and laugh and <laughs> everybody was is- looking the way it fell, it didn't just fell and <laughs> it fell and did a circle and it kept going circle. <laughs> oh man, everyone was looking. It was like, yeah. oh man, uh, at least it didn't up. break a vase. <laughs> oh yeah, like like that video. <laughs> yeah, I didn't scramble for it. That was a good thing, but it was funny because <laughs> Sean and I was looking at each other like, man. <laughs> yeah, when I talked to the guys, you know, the people who shoot the. Mm was in the wedding they still remember that so i think that's a good little moment isn't it so but what i can remember from that wedding we shot sean was that when we entered the bride's place everybody's saying the makeup artists were here and we bring our trolleys with our com- cameras and they thought that we were the makeup yeah. artist i was like <laughs> okay yeah, that's true. Yeah. that was really hectic yeah. man i think i think i like second shooter it's kind of like a street photography i think yeah. documentary i think that's what i like I think that if you're doing street photography and weddings, you'll kind of keep it sharp in a way. Yeah. You kind of have that quick reaction. But, um, but yeah, it's just, yeah, I, I don't think it's long term. Talking about people these days, like whenever they talk about wedding, they overthink it. They over like, 
I want to get this pose mm-hmm. and it has to be perfect. Like for me, uh, some people just want to get a shot and they're like, they're so conscious with everything. It has to be perfect. Well, yeah. for me, like it happens. It happens. And if you just, if it doesn't happen, you just make it happen, but just don't be strict with it. So yeah, I, I reckon if Carl is going to be shooting wedding with me, he's going to be so stressed out. He's just going to get the bucket shot <laughs> with all the pixels there and has to be in line, you know? <laughs> But yeah, it's it's tough when you when I started. Like I I used to like think overthink it. Then I saw this guy who was I was shooting a wedding back in the Philippines, and he had blurry photos. He just snaps. He doesn't spray, but he snaps whatever he sees quickly. Mm-hmm. And when they're all in the slideshow, I'm like oh, that made me look at what happened in the wedding. That that's how I look at weddings. At like mm-hmm. stitching a, a f- film or a story from all the photos. But yeah, it's kind of different when you're doing street because the street is more relaxing and he, oh there was a time i was doing street yeah. there was a time i was doing street i really need to get a photo i was stressing myself out trying things out trying to make a composition was forcing it ended up with 500 photos that i didn't use it was, it was just like just one photo was really good but yeah, yeah. just <laughs> take it easy enjoy yeah for sure Mm. Um, what would be the with weddings what would be the most stressful part like for me when i was in second shooter i think the church uh, i think that was probably the most stressful part uh stressful part church not really the, the stressful when they're walking oh uh, yeah the, the stressful part uh with walking before i, I used to stress because i need to take all the photos for that but uh mm. later on i thought the church is more like whatever i see i snap but the most stressful part is before going to the church because most of the times, there's not a lot of time. People just tell you an hour before going to the church. You remember when we when we were heading to the church, we saw the cars outside, and then we ran. Sean and I was shooting, and there were three Mini Coopers. We ran, and it's like, take a photo of Mini Cooper. And we just ran. Yeah. We just, we did It was just on the side yeah. of the street, and we took photo, yeah. uh, one or two photos of the Mini Cooper. We went to the church, and after the ch- church, those Mini Coopers just bolted home. So we didn't have much yeah. photos of those. So those are the stress part when you you're not settled, you have to be run around. But yeah, it happens in weddings. So that keeps me yeah. up. That keeps it from boring, yeah. being boring. Well, but again, yeah. hey, how, how about Carlo? Your 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 uh, your landscape trip photos. We need more. Stop editing, yeah. man. We need more. When, when yeah. uh, lockdown ends, so definitely that's in the. Go on to your old photos, man. Old photos. We were happy with it. Deleted. <laughs> Delete do, you still, do you still have all the raw photos of all your trips to um, like Paris and all that? Do you still have them? The raw oh, no, you them? saw them. I, they're all gone. Damn. Oh, I think another good chance. You just gave me a bit of heart attack, man. Like my heartbeat yeah. just. I can see it in my, in my garment. They're my heart beat. Just... memories. That's where it counts. <laughs> oh man! Like I, I, if if that was me, I bike all the way to that place. And then I lost my photos. That's gonna hurt, man. Like he was biking that, yeah. Again. You were, you were, you were, you were on your. Oh man. Anyway. I don't know how you would do it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how he does it. <laughs> that was super fun. I would do it again. <laughs> oh damn. You know, I didn't take my camera with me during that bike trip. I just took my phone. <laughs> having a camera around I feel you Sean I feel you <laughs> well, that's why you, you need like a GR man GR oh here you go here strong. you go he's not sp- <laughs> I, it. I, I got the new one I got... here you go Sean here you go Sean yeah. yep oh, I'm stop focusing oh. I'm not getting oh, paid oh, there you go <laughs> too close oh, stop stop focus you know simple one handed I really love my RX uh, Mark 100 Mark 5 uh, when when you, Vince lent me his uh, RX one hundred uh, one, I like it. But when I got my five, it was fun. I just didn't like the audio for the video because I wasn't really into video. But if you're gonna use it for photo, it's the best camera. I was about to sell my RX one hundred Mark seven, and yeah, like okay, I'm not gonna sell. This is bad aperture. Like it's not shallow. I'm a, I'm the shallow depth of field guy. I'm looking at all my old videos. I'm looking at my the concert bootlegs. And man, it looked good. Oh shoot, I shot it with this camera. I'm not gonna sell this camera anymore. <laughs> like I'm looking at the 4K videos and everything else, and like, oh, this is cool. Problem is, I, yeah, I go to concerts, I shoot videos, and then I forgot to shoot photos. And then, then when I got home, damn it, I should have shot photos. 
can, can you get like a frame from the video? Well, not really. Sorry? Uh, can you like, the same. snap? Yeah, it's not the same. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the thing with that RX100, because I had, well, not the same one, but I had an RX100 as well. Like, Mark I think 5? we all had an RX100. We are, we are, yeah. 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 <laughs> and I found I was not happy with the photos at all, but the videos that came out from that was really pretty awesome. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I, I got, know, I find the photos are fine. Man. I got, I got what Carlo was talking about, because I, I, I okay. thought, I love the photos of the Mark 5. I really love it. But when I'm editing my Mark, seven now i'm zooming up i can see some uh chroma uh chroma on it like uh aberrations yeah. 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 and i'm seeing not sharp photos it's just now i'm seeing it before i couldn't see it but it, maybe it's because of carlo i'm seeing it or something like that are you, are you like <laughs> pixel, are you pixel painting no when i'm editing it it's, it? i think it's okay. because it was zoom at 200 mil could be that degradation it's a small sensor but anyway i'm seeing it's not sharp i miss my mark 5 but my mark 5 is with my sister back in the philippines so yeah shout out to that camera that was a really good camera <laughs> but yeah uh, the audio uh yeah so hmm. oh come to think of it mark 5 i i so it was one time i want to go back to the mark 5 and do streets with it and do a lot of photos with it but yes. no turning so back it's the Mark V replacement. Oh, it's not focusing. Oh, it's not focusing. Oh, Boo, sorry. come on, man. You can do it. It's too you close. It. So, so if you had a color, it's fucking. You, you wouldn't be sorry. doing that. Hello? Huh? Oh, there you go. You know, if you had a Fuji, it would be focusing pretty clearly. No, it's not. <laughs> if you watch Camera Conspiracies, you'll see the Fuji does yeah. this. Well, it's a conspiracy, man. It's a conspiracy. Oh yeah, for videos, Sean. For videos, the, the, they're still working on the autofocus because it's the autofocus like focusing here, and it's going to focus that quick. And it's, gonna, it's like it's, but the colors are good. It's just too expensive for the Mark IV XT4. That's nah, too expensive. I'm seeing a lot of XT1s which are so freaking cheap these days, and before yeah. it was one of the expensive cameras. I was so tempted yeah. to get one. Good thing I'm not because I uh, I don't need it. As of now, yeah, I need a GR yeah, the, the from XT1. a friend. <laughs> oh, question about the XT one. You guys <laughs> had the XT one, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Did, did, the, the, do you remember if it had a HDMI yet? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Could be a this tiny one. My... No, I don't think so. Yeah. Nope, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. But the whole thing I had with the XT one was the back buttons was flush to the body, so it's hard to press. Mm. But like the you know normal yeah, yeah. camera, it kind of protrudes out. So. Yeah, so you have to kind of use a nail to kind of push the button, which I, I absolutely hated the most. And the photo, uh, I mean, the videos was like, uh, you can't fix the focus. It's crappy quality. It's, yeah, it's not good but, for but, the camera. Photo is more important though, so. Yeah. yeah that's fine. <laughs> yeah, okay. But that's all right. So I think one thing I noticed is like, with Carla, because he likes shooting at ISO 400 and all that. <laughs> you should shoot film, man. You know, film goes to ISO 400, ISO 400. You'll see, you'll see you really well. Nah. <laughs> uh, just check, Carlo. Uh, it has the the full size HDMI. That's cool. Oh, okay, cool. Man, I really want to get the A7S3. Uh, I'm broken hearted because I really like the camera. It's video centric. So if I'm traveling, I want one camera to do everything. And when I take photos of 12 megapixels, I cry. I can't take it. I can't, man. It's like it's like. It's like going to war, going to like going to war with a with a knife in your hand. That's how Sean, I feel. Sean's, Sean's judging you right now. <laughs> yeah, he's judging me. Like it's is is the things that I I can't explain. But the the things that uh when like uh, I used to have the setup uh when I moved to Sony, I have a setup of twenty eight mil f two. I have the fifty five one point eight, eighty five one point eight. More all all of them are like small lenses. They're really cool. Like. I have this dream. <laughs> I have this dream. <laughs> I have this oh dream God, of me shooting with small cameras like the Fuji or something like uh, the Sony and with the small lenses and you know, just a small bag. Like, eh, hey, I'm a photographer. I have a small bag. But when I started shooting the 1.8s, I'm a shallow depth of field guy. I feel like my camera's like from a crappy 2.8 lens. I can't feel the depth of field. I feel like I'm bringing a knife that's blunt. So that's a, that's how I feel with shooting at twelve megapixels. Like, it's good, but it's mediocre or something. I don't know. Mm. So 
Yeah. To all those listening, you shouldn't think that way. That's not that's not how you do it. That's bad. <laughs> Don't fine. think Probably like me. Don't follow fine. us. <laughs> Your current lens is fine. You don't have to know. Have yeah, to that's good. Like I have a friend who who I was buying all the cameras. I was buying all the the lenses before back in the Philippines, and he wants to like buy this lens. I said, "Don't do that. Don't do that." He said, "No, I want to try it. No, I've been there. It looks good, but it's not." Then, like, I I, I want to tell them that, yeah, I've been that road before. That's not nice. Don't do that. But if I haven't been to that road, that's not. I'm not gonna get over it. I'm still gonna want to have it. But yeah, good thing Sean has been to all the cameras. That way, whenever it's like, Sean, is the GR good? I said, yes. Sean, but uh, the problem with Sean is, bit, if you're gonna ask, with the jam. yeah, if you can ask Sean, is Canon good? Uh, not really, but yes, he's gonna say yes. It's gonna make you buy stuff. Because <laughs> you buy stuff. <laughs> nah. yeah. Well, mate, I think yeah, yeah, go to a shop and actually hold your cameras for a bit instead of what I did. Yeah, where you buy the hold camera, it, try it out, and then hold it if it it works with you. Ah. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> if it grips, you know, mold your hand. But it's like, so manly. Instead of buying it on eBay and then you don't know, like it, then sell it the next Yeah. Week. Don't, don't do that. Do don't do that. No. Don't do what um, we in, did. In saying, um, it, when it comes to buying, so compared to the Canons, the Pro Cap Canon, you know, the LNs to the Sony's, what's more expensive is, is the Sony's tend to be. I've heard with the mirrorless cameras, they're smaller, Sony's. but they tend to be getting more expensive. Yeah, Sony's. Like, uh, I, I used to think that uh, the uh 85 1.8 was the grail lens like it was i got it for 1800 or 1600 then i had to sell a lot of cameras and it wasn't my best the best lens i was the last one that i sold no second to the last one that i sold uh it was really good and i thought it was so expensive but when you go to sony shit man shh, no you're not you don't want to you don't want to talk about it <laughs> i'm crying now uh, hey, yeah. I noticed the lens are also pretty big too, so they're not that much smaller compared to the SLRs, isn't it? Like uh, it's body, it's yes. it's because of uh, it's because of the the lens mount. The lens mount so small. Mm. Oh, is it? Yeah. So like when you get to higher apertures, they still blow up in the tip. So if you're gonna go, if you're gonna get one point eight, so you can get small lenses out of it. But if you're like me, you get one point four. Yeah, you show off something. So you want to get the little <laughs> lenses. Yeah, like yeah. I have this fifty like, mil, fifty one point two from the Sony from the Canons are so small. This is Sony, Carlo was using that. That's the lens is using now. Show off, but uh, yeah, this is the fifty mil. It's really big. It's really it's big. really big. Yeah, <laughs> they've got smaller though. So I think after they released that one, um, they went smaller. Been, yeah, yeah, they've been smaller. So I think the technology. Eighty five, the eighty five Sigmas. Yeah. I think oh. nothing beats the X100, man. Like the lens. <laughs> Here you go, Sean. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, come on. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't need a big Wait, wait, wait. That, Sell right? us the hood. You... Sell us the hood. Stop that. No one's going to buy this hood for me. I had to wait for one from China, man. Come on. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the, the thumb. Thumb. I have a thumb thingy. I have a thumb thingy here. It's from the, I don't know. It's, I think it's, it's from you. It's from the X20. Was that you? Oh, really? Yeah, you remember X10? No, X10. I, I, I think that was X10. X10 yeah. You dealed a lot of cameras yeah. to me. Like it's you're a bad influence. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I still have it. The X10. I have the hood for the X10. <laughs> yeah. It's still here. Okay. I sent my right. X10 back in the Philippines and everything else. The comment from chat. What? Um, it's all about the size, baby. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, smaller. Yeah, smaller I need though. to go to the chat. I need, uh, I'm gonna go to the chat because uh, okay. I oh, can't see the history. I'll only be able to see the new ones. That come uh, it's okay. Right. I think I think one thing I know from me shooting DSLRs quite a lot. I think I that kind of caused trouble for me. So that's oh. why I'm shooting more lower, you know, lighter cameras. I think if if you were shooting uh, with a one DX, man, I I really love the one DX. I'm like, oh man, it's gonna make me yeah. feel so manly. It's so big and so big and sturdy, and uh, it's really hot. But uh, yeah. when I was shooting weddings, man, I was spending a lot because the next day I'm I'm going to get a massage because it hurts the whole body. <laughs> one camera could do a lot of that damage, man. Yeah, yeah I remember like, the thing. My I mean, back nice started to hurt. Yeah. yeah, and like gripping Even the it. The D seven hundred, yeah, the D seven hundred, the D eight hundred, that was tough already as it is. And then yeah. And this one here. Stupid mistake. 
uh, yeah, this camera, it's big. It's like, it's a normal camera. You can say that this is just like normal camera that, uh, you know, the Mark III with the grip. But this one has AA batteries, eight of them. So just <laughs> imagine the weight of this eight double yeah. A's in this big cat. Oh man, this is so heavy. All you need, man, all you need is this. See? Very small, man. I gotta tell Laura, you know, Sean's trying to get me a camera. You see my pocket? You see my pocket? No one knows it's there, you know? <laughs> I love that. No one knows it's there. It's 28 got, mil, man. I, I, I gotta tell Laura about this. Sean's showing me stuff again. Look at it again. Look at it. See? Look how small. Look how small. It's the size doesn't matter. The ladies don't want the small ones, man. <laughs> <laughs> they want the big, sturdy, strong ones. Compared to the Sony RX100. With high higher. dynamic range. <laughs> See? Come on, man. <laughs> That's not going to reach a tip, tip man. That's just going to be I mean, on the rim. I'm, I'm, Hey, listen. I'm already, what are you I'm talking about? Hey, I'm already married, man. I don't need to impress anyone. What are we talking? <laughs> okay. Next topic, come on. Okay, I think <laughs> that's a nice thing to end. It's not you nice. It, That's a nice you thing started. to me. You started it, man. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was it was <laughs> the, the mess, yo. <laughs> there you go. Size, yeah, size calls them on the after. Oh, man. Um, what, what a good thing to end the show for now. Yeah, All right. yeah we've been out two hours, 25 minutes, and it's wow. been fun. It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, for sure, man. A lot longer Thanks for than the laughter. Time. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's longer <laughs> than the usual length. Final, final tip, guys. <laughs> newbies, newbies. One camera, learn it as you go. Don't buy what we do. <laughs> gas, gas is, is but heavy. Sean, but Sean, they're going to miss all our adventures. We had our own adventures with that. Yeah. So well, let's I'm just say. All I'm going to say is you've been warned. You've been warned. <laughs> yeah. It never stops. Like whenever, whenever I go to DJ Direct, I talk to Mark and say, it never stops, man. It's, it's like, he's so like have having roots, problems roots. with it. Like, it never stops, man. It never stops. That's why you have to reroute. Go in different direction. Yeah. Don't go to the cameras. So buy one <laughs> camera at a time. Something no, like that. Just buy one camera and that's one, it. One at a time. <laughs> <laughs> they don't trust yeah, us. Don't, don't and, do and, three and, at and, a time. And listen, listen. And like I said, size doesn't Wait. matter. <laughs> It's it's okay if it's short if it's that wide, but if it's not that wide, if it's Listen, if it's a fifty it's, mil, no, no, no. I'm it's just thinking about the the width, yeah, yeah, the focal length. It's the performance, the how long it lasts. The <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, All right, All right um, guys. This is, this is getting R rated, so I'm gonna yeah, end this nah. now before I get flagged for TOS. Okay. Thank you. Everyone, Thank you guys and uh, you guys. enjoy to the next one. Yeah. Right. Enjoy lockdown. Street Thanks, Abitur. <laughs> right. Street. <laughs>